uh, you know how there's this wonderful delay. I yep. just want to make sure we're streaming okay. That's ASMR right there. That's some fucking serious ASMR yeah, shit, baby. I'm so excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm eating a butter cookie. He's eating a butter cookie, everybody. <laughs> Luke is eating, eating a butter, a butter cookie. cookie. Oh. I'm drinking coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, wait. We got this plug are here. we good? Are uh, we going? Are we? Are we on? I know we're recording at least, but I haven't seen us on yet. Mm. YouTube, work on that fucking lag, man. Looks like it's going though. Let me see. I haven't gotten any notifications from you saying like, you know, giant robot is live. Let me see. I think we are. Wait. Here, here. Oh, we are live. Okay. Three, two, one. We're live. Yeah. Yes. And who, who do we have? We have a guest right here. Yep. We have, you know, probably one of the more famous guests that we've had because I, neither of us, neither Eric or I, have ever been chased down by TMZ or, you know, <laughs> um, or the paparazzi. We have Anch Movement. Artist, Hello, friends. Desi artist designer. You know? Yeah, it's just Anch now too. Oh really? Yeah, I you deleted the, the movement. Oh my god! Last year, <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? Because it was old. It was uh. done. It was used up. <laughs> kind of like how art galleries are no longer galleries; they're projects. Oh, oh is that what it is? Uh. <laughs> oh. Not not me. But yeah, <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. But so let me re let me finish. Let me fix that. It says now it says Anch. Okay, just just finish it just like that. Just Anch. Yes. Yeah, but. As we are trying to start our new, tra uh, our, our latest tradition. Yeah. Top five. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'll go first. Okay. Because no. you seem the most ready. I, I was, yeah. I, I had been preparing for this all freaking week, you know, <laughs> like trying to figure out like what, you know, my top five is. And so my top five this week is the Prime Thanatos, who is a music streaming thing on YouTube. Um, they do like synth, wa um, synth wave music and... I've been listening to the, sh the shit out of it like while I've been working this week. Can you say that again clearly? So the people... Prime Thanatos. Thanatos. Yeah. Th okay. T H A N A T O S. Okay. Uh, my okay. number two is Study Beats, which is another like streaming YouTube radio show that you know they have like that anime gif of a girl studying. You know. I've seen that. <laughs> I've listened to that before. Oh, it's so wow. good. That one's good. No, I I, I I love it. Okay, I spent no time on that one. You know, um, my number three is LA Zine Fest. I went there on Sunday. Fun. Oh, it was great. I ran into Helen Joe, Death Be Sun, the LA Taco guys, fucking J, um, JT Steiny. You know, he did. Um, is he was he the oldest person there? No, well, he had students there in the special oh, okay. section, and like awesome. you know, he did this ridiculous drawing of me on on a balloon. I'm. Maybe I could show it really quick because it's that good of fucking, um, it's, it's, it's that good. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I love that. <laughs> show, show the people so, at home. Here, oh, yeah, yeah. Here, here is that crazy uh, drawing okay. he did on a balloon. Luke on me. a balloon? Uh, me on awesome. a balloon. <laughs> and then finally, my, uh, well, no, number, my number four is the Dungeons and Dragons Renault ad. I don't know whether or not um, you've seen this, uh, but like it's a Brazilian ad and featuring the animation Dungeons and Dragons. Wow! And like, I don't. Did you ever watch that? No, was, I haven't. It was an '80s thing, I guess. And um, oh, you mean the cartoon? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it literally um, has like, you know, all those, um, you know, like all the characters from that, and like. You know, and it starts, it's like a live action thing. The special effects are crazy. There's a video, it's a video ad, but there's also a print one. And I'm trying wow. my best to, to find the, the, um, you know, the, the, whatchamacallit, um, the, the, the images, just so you guys can see it and like be as impressed as I was. Because like, I, I had like to double, triple take, like, what the fuck am I looking at here? You know, so. You see the um, right. 
You know, yeah. and then like they do like here's the archer dude. Oh wow, that's that's actually from the cartoon. That's yeah. not from the cartoon. Yeah, the barbarian chick. With you mean the, the cartoon? Stick. The cartoon looked like that. Yeah. Oh well, no, it looked no. I mean like the char- the general oh, okay. characters look like that. Gotcha. There's the chick with the cloak that turns invisible. Right. right. The barbarian little boy. Wow. You know. Is it and, licensed? Do you think? Oh yeah, it's definitely that's licensed. Amazing. And like you know, like it, it shows shows them fighting the five headed dragon, and then wow. the guy on the ma- on the horse fucking shows up, and then a fucking the dungeon master shows up in a fucking Renault and wow. Wait, picks them up. It's like a big budget. <laughs> I want to adjust this thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is going to get fucked up for a second, but I don't know if it's going to work. It's gonna work. Just because you're blocking your face. Let's not even use this then. Okay. We don't need to use that thing. Okay, sounds good. That way, yeah, yeah I was blocking your face. It was annoying. And there, um, you go. That, there see? Now yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I was, I was terribly was impressed. Was that number four or five? That was number four. And wow. my number five is. I, 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 I just, I, there was nothing that good this week. Wow. <laughs> that like, you know, and, you know, like, you know, it's Aunch. Yes, Aunch I'm here. I am Aunch here. Is, awesome. You know, Thanks for having me. That's number five. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Yep. You want me to go? She, or Aunch, you want to go? No, I'll, I'll go first. Wait, so like, like, do we break down it's the top to five that you were talking about? And we kind of. No, we're done. Uh, no, if you know oh, what if, it is. If, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah, okay. we, we talk for like a minute about each thing kind yeah. of a thing. If, if, you, so, if you have something to say yeah, about it. Yeah, unless you have something you want to talk about it with well, it, I, I, please I, do. I felt like the stuff that you brought up, I, I, do I live on a different planet or do you live on a different planet? Because <laughs> okay. I had no idea what you were on, talking about. I live on planet nerd. So <laughs> <laughs> you live on like. That's a good planet. I like that. Nerds are cute. You know, but like, you know, I, you know, I'm, yeah. So that, 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 those are the things. But that. that's what the top five is for, you know. You just don't know. You could research it if you want, gotcha, or gotcha. you don't have to. But that's it's cool. just to show people like stuff. That. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Renault, yeah. D and D. Fine, that's crazy. The Prime yeah. Thanatos. That's crazy. You know, study breaks. You know, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. So um, for me, number one, vote for me. <laughs> Vote for Eric. Yeah, Sunday for Eric. Uh, neighborhood council um, still running. I don't. I only need one vote technically, but I might as well get a lot of votes if I can. So why not? Yes. But I, you know, usually you campaign maybe earlier. But hey, it's this Sunday. Vote for me if you want. If you need any info, just email me. That's all. Simple as that. Wait, I, I live on in San Gabriel. Like uh, you are a stakeholder as an artist. Here, you're mm-hmm. considered a stakeholder. You earn money from Giant Robot. Yes. You, that's just like you working here, right? Well, I mean, right. I, mean I do do a, a po- podcast in your neighborhood, you know? And Anch. And yeah. Anch. But you're, you're, a, you're basically a, f- a freelancer here, technically. Mm-hmm. You work here. So it's no different than you working at a coffee shop, you know? You work here. You're a stakeholder, man. Oh. You're important to this neighborhood. How do we vote? On Sunday, there's a farmer's market in West L.A. at this farmer's market, Civic Center, mm-hmm. right? Really close by. And um, there's a little things you need to bring if you're a stakeholder, but if you're intending to come, you should tell me, and I, I can put you on a list. But you could also come and just vote provisionally, and then we can clear it up later. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a few days to clear it up. Like they'll say, it'll say, Anch came to vote, and then I'll be like, oh, I can, I can clear him up by nice. saying he appeared on this podcast on this date, therefore he's not, whatever. I can do that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. You know, and we do this here on Sawtell, so this is... Stakeholder but do, land. But do you really want to do another like two years of? That's four, dude. Four years. It's a four, it'll be a four-year um, seat. But uh, mm-hmm. no, I'm willing to do it for this neighborhood, even though I don't like it. It's <laughs> you, painful. You mean you don't it's like the job? Painful. You like the neighborhood, but you don't like the job. It's very painful. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna. I'm, I gotta learn how to do it better. You know, like it's it. It used to be. I used to be full of anxiety and fear of this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Now I get it, and I'm okay with it. But now I want to make it good because it's been nothing but shitty. Crush the NIMBYs. I want to try. So I want to try to make it work. That's all. Okay, sorry. That's, that's a long number one. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. that's how it goes. Number two, Yosuke Yamamoto's art show. This it's, Saturday. It's starting here at Giant Robot 2 on Saturday. And uh, it should be amazing. Yes. And it's called The Color With You In Mind, right? Oh. I like that. It's very romantic. It's a good yeah. name. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, and color has a U in it. That's how he spells it. But that's like the UK spelling, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, or maybe... Oh, maybe it's G- pretentious. <laughs> 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 okay, number three. Um, I did a talk at uh, Fandango slash Rotten Tomatoes. I did a talk, nice. you know, at like mm-hmm. a lunchtime talk. And it uh, looks like um, I'm going to be on there... Uh, on Friday, I'm going to be on Rotten Tomatoes talking about Godzilla, the movie. Oh, King okay. yeah. of Monsters. Yeah, I got invited back. Did Just, you like it? I haven't seen it yet. It'll oh. be tomorrow. Wow. So I'm going to How see exciting. it tomorrow, then I have to talk about it on camera on Friday. Nice. You're going to yeah. kill it. Oh, I hope so. Do I look nice? 
Yeah, oh, you do. You're doing good. good. I got a haircut and everything. <laughs> yeah, you look okay, fantastic. Um, uh, I eat lunch at this place called Neko in um, Westwood Boulevard, N-E-C-C-O. Mm-hmm. It's a Japanese restaurant that I kind of didn't really care to go to, and I got taken there and uh, was amazing. Was it a date? No, it was not a date. But uh, the person who cut my hair took me there, so it all worked out. That sounds like a date. It wasn't a date. <laughs> no. no. Uh, but, but nonetheless, uh, really good food. Um, it's like Japanese, but like everything's farmer's market, you know, like sourced farmer's market food type of thing. Mm. And uh, a lot of different, it's like a lot of small things on one big plate, and it's kind of amazing. So it's like pieces of art, kind of. Kind of. I would say, yeah, and everything tasted amazing. Gotta and they that. made they made everything too. Every sauce, everything was made. Really? Them. Yeah. And then the guy even to, had to tell me he didn't have to tell me, but he was pointing to things. Going, I just went to the farmer's market this morning and picked the, these things up. And he pointed. So he's like fermenting his own sauces. If he has sauces, like, they're fermented. Or Luke, we need to go. Yeah, yeah. And it's really awesome. good. Uh, and you know, kind of, I would say a very artistic looking meal, mm. but but not. I mean, not pretentious. I would say not pretentious. I just, I just think just, of that just, parking just in Westwood. It's, it and, sounds Instagram worthy and yeah. we should do it. It was very beautiful. <laughs> the food is beautiful. Okay. And then the last thing, Giant Robot Hawaii is coming up, uh, is it the 14th? Oh my God. I've yeah, got so yeah. much and, work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. June 14th. And then on the 15th, we'll be at the night market, I believe. Oh yeah. And, uh, that's going to be with Luke Chu and Yosuke Yamamoto. So get to work, kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get to work. What are you doing here? Get to work. <laughs> You know, I, I will be tonight. I'm, yeah, I'll yeah. be back working. Okay, and then we could hear from Anch. Anch. Oh, hello. So my top five. Yeah. Well, let's talk. What I'm good about, like I'm good at talking about. I guess I'll talk about Paris Hilton. So she she launched her um, released her new song this week, or maybe it was last week. It's called Best Friends Ass. And it's so good, guys. <laughs> it's it's so, like you love it that much. I actually love it. <laughs> it was on replay for at least three days straight. I'm not joking, and it's just a very catchy song. She raps in there, and um, are we gonna go back to that, or should we just talk about no, it? Let's, 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 let's go. Well, let's get back to that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 really quick, are you the best friend? <laughs> well, I am the TV best friend. Oh, but not not. But this isn't your ass. This no, this is definitely about. not my ass. It's Kim Kardashian's ass, which is what's kind of major because I oh, think she. Oh, it's pro- a diss track. She has. Well, no, Kim was in the video, oh. so I think and you know it's their their friends again, which I, I think is so great, and the song's so good. Um, I think it's a really great direction for her, just because you know we we've seen so many facets of her now, and I feel like. You know, she's a performer, so... Uh, so, they, I, don't, I didn't even know she was, like, recording music. Oh, you know? it's great. It's great. And I, I love seeing people get out of their comfort zone mm-hmm. and be creative, and I think that's what she's doing. Cool. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Nice. So, you guys should check it out. Best Friends Ass. Best Friends Ass. ass. Yeah. should be on YouTube, correct? It is. Yeah. Okay. It is, yeah. So, everyone's opening up another window right now. Yes, please. <laughs> and they have a lot of great cameos in the videos, so... Awesome. Yeah, I think you guys okay. will like it. Awesome. And I want to talk about Matt Gala, because this year, Matt Gala was all about camp. And um, camp, I guess, is something <laughs> that is... Do you guys know about it? Is it, is it okay, <laughs> camp is campaign against marijuana production. No, 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 no. There no. Is, that is real, though. <laughs> no. camp. But it's not that. It's, okay. it, it's basically okay. camp, the style, the, the fashion. Right. So it's something that's over the top and exaggerated and crazy and wild Mm -hmm. and very pop inspired and so this year's um theme was camp and um wait camp is back yeah it is wait it never left i i I, I always thought like camp kind of like goes into like certain kinds of like it falls back into certain niches and then it like kind of like like a wave it crests back forward yeah it comes back out again just like Like, fashion it usually kind of goes into like like a lot of drag kind of like you know scenes and then suddenly like you know rupaul's drag race is like huge again (laughs) wait what is that do you know what the word camp means in this case yeah uh, like you know like i have no idea campy like oh uh, that okay jeez okay i got you (laughs) oh Okay. So that's this year's theme for the Matt um, Museum. They have a whole exhibit about it. And um, I have five pieces that is featured on an outfit that's there, which I thought was so exciting. At the Met? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. So if you guys are there, go check it out. It's Congratulations. It's the Hello Kitty outfit by Heatherette. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That is a huge number two. <laughs> so I know, like my number two wow. is dumb. I know. That well, then blast. let's talk about influencers. 
Oh, okay. Because I think this is a subject that is polarizing because it's it's so popular, but at the same time, too, is it really lucrative? Mm, I've always wondered about that. Because I feel like, in at least in my world, there's a lot of you know fashion influencers and Mm -hmm. beauty gurus and all that, and you see all these huge industries soaking a lot of money and giving them a lot of products to use and test. Right. But do they bring back sales? Do they generate the income that they're, you know, they promise they do? Do they? I don't know. I don't think so. Just because from personal experience, even people with 1.2 million followers will not translate into sales. Well, I mean, like, I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, like, I, I think that's something that you see a lot of even in, like, the normal, like, like, painting art kind of thing is that, like, you'll see, like, people, like, you know, with, like, half a million followers and, you know, they, you know, put something up in a group show and you walk by it and you notice it hasn't sold yet or anything like that. And you're like, oh, okay, well... It's strange, isn't it? You know, I mean, like, I, I imagine that there's some influencers that definitely... Like, you know, make a ton of fucking money. For sure. But, like, oh, it's... In, yeah, the influencers make money, right? Is that true? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay, I have, yeah. but then you don't know if the for product sure. that they're pr- promoting, promoting or whatever shilling for is actually making anything. Well, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, but yeah. it's like advertising in general, right? It's sort of a... You don't know. Right. No, but I you, remember advertising back in the day, we really did focus on celebrities and people that were have accomplished something right. and we look up to them but nowadays these are just kids which I have no idea who they are mm-hmm. and they're trying to sell me a product well which... they're, they're getting free product I'm mm-hmm. sure you know if they have the, the numbers but like you know are they also getting uh, uh, paid maybe, maybe in the beginning like at the in, in, in the initial rush there was probably people you know people making like you know a hundred thousand dollars you know and then suddenly it's like wah wah I wonder how long this culture will last but it's been around longer than like, so the word influencers seemed to make a comeback. Like I thought it was kind of gone for a while because it was around more than 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Like there were influencers, right. you know, and it was a weird word, but that but was... But then 10 years ago, yeah. the influencer didn't, ha- the influencers didn't have social media to there was, have that platform. It just wasn't as rad. What was like, what, Friendster? My, no, MySpace? It was, it, was still, <laughs> it was still Twitter for sure, right? It was still Twitter. Hmm? Yeah. I I, well, I, I, and, and do it. Facebook was started in 2005, so I think 2008, let's say 2009, it was around. Facebook was definitely around. Yeah, but like it just but, it didn't get to the point. Like I think yeah, Instagram, Instagram was, like yeah. like next level the yeah, influencer yeah. game. Sure. I mean, technically, but there was I mean that definition yeah, well, was YouTube, wide, but yeah. right? Like YouTube, YouTube like yeah, for you sure. Know, like yeah. you have like this fucking video game dudes yeah, fucking making changed. stupid yeah. money. <laughs> but I mean, before it was like a, a owner of like a, you know, whatever, a streetwear brand or something was an influencer, right? That was kind of what you know what I mean? Like, right. like, like the guy from uh, whatever. I don't, the Supreme guy's always kept a low profile, but like uh, the guy from the hundreds, Bobby Hundreds, right? He was kind of like a, an influencer, as was um, Jeff Staple, right? The, from Staple Brand. They were mm. all influencers, but uh, you know the guys from that A Life brand, right? They were kind of like the influencers of that time. But this right. is ten years ago, right? And um, no, it just seems like it has a different definition. Well, I mean, like they, they, it's yeah. also they've also kind of like you know, I mean, like you know, the influencer thing. It's it's all about like fucking waves, right? Like yeah, you know, sure, that's what I'm saying. It kind of went down and then it came back. Like, and now it like, has a different meaning. I remember when hundreds was huge and like suddenly <laughs> that, just, you know, that was their tagline. The hundreds is huge, you know. And yeah. well, I didn't even know that. <laughs> well, know. Was, they used to say that. On you know, things. before that, like I remember hookups. Like they were on the back of your fucking magazine yeah. for was a big how deal. many fucking decades. Yeah, you know, one and, and a half. You know, <laughs> and then fucking um, yeah. that goes in waves. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know if he was ever looked as an influencer, but you know, just one of those weird words. But now they're back, and it's powerful. It is. It is crazy. stronger than ever. It, yeah, it's bizarre. You, it's ten times stronger than it ever was. Sort of like Zinefest. It's like mm-hmm. way bigger than it ever was. And companies that I work with, when we're throwing at events, one of the first things they ask is, "Who are the influencers that are coming?" Wow. I mean, personally, I I'm, I grew up from you know back in the days, and my first question normally is, who are the celebrities? <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it's a very interesting thing. Yeah. Hmm. So the next one, I just want to talk about ASMR, just because I'm so obsessed with it right now, and <laughs> I think we should just all like, you know, try uh, it. All right. Everybody, any? Oh, okay. We're all doing it. Wait, yeah, of do course. we do it together or separate? Of course, why not? Together, okay. isn't yeah. it? Like, is that too much? Is there? Got a whisper. Oh yeah, that's too right. much. ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> okay, everybody. Everybody with anxiety, relax, time. Mm, this is so good. (laughs) 
Luke. Yeah. Gotta chew and swallow. <laughs> you too. It's so good. I swallowed. <laughs> I'm eating a fruit roll up. <laughs> All right. I mean, like, you I can. <laughs> so people tell do segments like that, and you watch it for hours. Do you watch it for hours? I do, because I. I guess I have nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I discovered, I learned about ASMR on this show that Vox puts on through Netflix. Mm-hmm. Um, they did uh, all these episodes, like the AS, ASMR. They did a really interesting K-pop one where they go into the history of like K-pop and wow, you know, all that shit. You know? and, and I was like, what the fuck is this ASMR thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, like, you know, it got reinforced when uh, Bill Maher... Um, like did a skit with Moby on ASMR on oh, uh, his, on um on his show on HBO, and um it was funny, but like I I've never really like personally dived into it because I kind of felt like it was like this weird fetishy kind of thing rather than like you know an actual like anti anxiety kind of thing. There's so many kinds of you know some they do with voices, mm-hmm. some are with a slime. Mm-hmm. Some are just like little crackles like that. Right. It's not really fetishy, is it? Yeah, if I want to see fetishy shit, then I'll just fucking go to fucking Pornhub. Porn <laughs> 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 you know, I can find anything there. You know, but you know, but like you know, fucking you know, I don't need YouTube to fucking like you know, I don't know, fulfill some weird kind of sexual fetish. You know, it just gives you euphoria sometimes. You know. So I mean, does it actually help you? Well, okay, so this is the truth, okay? So just two days ago, I had anxiety, and it was really bad. Mm. And I didn't know what to do with myself, so I went onto YouTube, and I pulled up a couple of ASMR videos, and it actually calmed me down. Mm. And that was the first time I tried it, so I, I, I'm not sure it will work every time or if it was actually effective, but it did that time, so... You just kind of like settled in, put some headphones on. Yeah, and I think what it did was it just distracted me from my thoughts, and I think that's how it worked mm. not quite sure if it's the sound itself that makes sense i mean you know it's you kind of i mean anxiety is a fi- like a fixation issue right mm-hmm. like you're you're totally absorbed by a particular thing and if you could find something that can like help you pull yourself away from that you know and then you know you can relieve yourself of that anxiety at least that's how anxiety manifests in me you know so Sounds yeah, Eric. awesome. Eric, have you had any AS- <laughs> ASMR experiences? I have had none, but I've been hearing about it lately and listen, you know, tr- tr- I've been tripping out on it, but you've uh, been tripping out on the idea or you've been tripping idea. it on the videos. No, just the idea of it. It's interesting, but it's been around, right? Mm-hmm. But um it's yeah, you know like people, just like mukbang. But people listen to things. <laughs> Mukbang is kind of amazing, dude. Though. I love mukbang. <laughs> you know? We need to make a mukbang video together, Luke. Okay, you know, we'll we'll you know we we'll, like, we 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 don't hang out nearly enough at lunch. Yeah, we but like whenever we do, we pig out, we eat, and then we probably have diarrhea after. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that that happened. You know, well, certain restaurants are just kind of inspired that kind of you know thing. So. Yes, very inspiring. So, um, number five. Wait, wasn't that number five? Was that What's three? It? Was no. that three? Three? No, oh, it was four. no, I have one more. Dating. Oh. Just because like, I, feel, I, well, I feel like dating is such a weird thing right now where um, since with all these apps, it's so easy just to go to the next person, find the next person, the next best thing. I'm not quite sure if people treasure the moment and the connection anymore. So even if you're if you matched with a person, in your mind you're like, okay, that's cool. It's like a game. Um, I won this round. <laughs> uh, you know, I won this round. Oh, what's that? what's winning? What's what's next? You know, like who's next? Who's better? Let me up myself and have a you know try to swipe right on a better person. Wow. And um, I just I feel like that mentality kind of ruined how dating is. And um, I also realize a lot of people are in, in this whole open relationship situation, which I'm not quite oh, sure yeah. I understand. Polyamorous. It's like, but what, like, I don't get it. Don't you want a companion to yourself or do you just want to fuck the world? <laughs> I think a lot of people want to just fuck the world. <laughs> a lot of people do. I mean, like, okay, you're, I mean, you are gay. 
I am. I think. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Do you? I'm mean, like. Do you? Are you on like Grinder or do you use like? No, um, I use Tinder and um, Bumble. I use the good ones just because I feel like, you know, you are what you put. Like you are what you attract. So if you're gonna go on a hookup app, mm-hmm. then what are you gonna be attracting? But hookups. isn't Tinder a hookup app? Oh, you yeah. know what? I'm not quite sure because that's not how I've been operating on there. Mm-hmm. So I think it's all about the way you operate on social. Like, I mean, can't you just use the hashtag is. no hookups on like you know, <laughs> on any app? Does yeah. it work that way? I, I don't know. I've I mean, used, like, I've never used one. No, you're lucky. Actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally over it. I'm yeah. like, I'm done. Do I've, you use Match.com? Do you pay? Uh, you know, it's so funny because I actually did use Match.com once, and that's how I met one of my best friends. Oh, oh. it worked. Yeah, it was, it was strange. Yeah. Like, and it wasn't even like there was no attraction there. It was just like, dude, you you look like a cool person to hang out with, and let's kick it. So we we kicked it, hmm. <laughs> and now we still hang out. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, yeah I'm. Wait, Luke. That's how we met on a dating app. <laughs> <laughs> Grinder. Right. I told Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> <I> Grinder. <laughs> Wow. Tonight was going to be lit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> lit. <laughs> well, so that's my top five. That's an awesome top five. That's a good one. That's <laughs> a really you good taught one. Taught both of us for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you actually did that re- really well. Mm-hmm. The last one was the, the first one was Alberts, and it was really quick. Like it was like top five in one minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was, he was you know he kind of like was working off of our like top yeah. five. But top fives are supposed to inspire. Oh. I mean, inspire oh. at least inspire conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it doesn't it. have to inspire people. It can be totally negative and negative, negative if you want. Yep. But you know, I think I'll try and come up with a negative one next oh, week. That'll inspire <laughs> it's <very> conversation. On <laughs> brand. Yeah, yeah, very on brand. Perfect. Yeah. So, Anch, I think I'm trying to like think, re- reflect back on like when I first met you, and I, I, I didn't meet you. I met you way after all of like you know the Paris Hilton BFF yes. you know, stuff. Yes, yes. You know, but like. You know, then like, you know, like, but everyone would be like, oh, that's fucking Paris Hilton BFF <laughs> And I'm like, what, what the fuck what is the that? <laughs> you know, like, cause I, I, I hated all that E-channel fucking oh, shit. Channel. It's fun. It's fun. Oh. I, mean, I always had fun is with it. it. But I, I didn't, I think when I, I first met you, you came in here and somebody went, that's Anch. <laughs> and I was like, what's an Anch? What is this? <laughs> you know? And then uh, I looked it up. I looked you up really quick on the computer and I was That's like, so oh, whoa. You know, and it was like, the, I saw the reality show stuff, I guess. And I was like, whoa, celebrity. Yeah, That's I mean, so like, funny. Yeah. But you, you, okay, you were on season one. Yes, I was. Uh, what's the show called again? Wait. Paris, Paris Hilton's my new best friend. Yeah, oh. that's exactly it. Okay, mm-hmm. but you, uh, as weird as apparently you were actually voted off on. I was. I was voted off on. I think the third or fourth episode, mm-hmm. and the reason why was because apparently the producer said that I was using up too much airtime. <laughs> <laughs> there was around six or eight cameras in oh, the house wow. following us at all times, and I would have m- more than half of it with me. Mm. So I, I guess they needed to eliminate somebody, mm. and they did say that they wanted to explore you know, the rest of the contestants, and they probably regretted that mistake because I was the show for them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They brought you back they for did. all the other seasons yes, except yes. for one day, apparently. Yeah, so I, I came back to co-host with Paris for season two and other spin-offs of that show. There's the UK version and there's wow. the Dubai version. And um, yeah, it's like... You mean a, a separate one just for Dubai? Yeah. And you and Paris Hilton were Oh, I didn't do the Dubai one. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, did they get somebody from the Emirates? To they like... did. They, ha- they, they casted <laughs> oh everyone over there. And wow. apparently okay. it was a wild show just because there's so much money involved over there. So much... Um, well... Oh, there's influencers there for richness. sure. Richness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, and I, and I was actually, um, I was, it was around winter, this winter, and um, mm-hmm. I was looking through my Instagram, and I didn't think, you know, I always kind of feel like television friendships are, you know, just, like, it's Fickle. contractual, it's a contractual friendship, yes. and then, like, you know, once a contract, con- contract expires, everyone goes on their, their way, but, you know, and then, like, you know, you're, like, posting pictures of, like, you know, a party that you went, um, uh, that she hosted, <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, like, he's really friends with fucking Paris Hilton. You know, I have to say, Paris is a really wonderful person. And she's been so great to me in every aspect of my life. 
this is it's been 10 years now and she still invites me to all her parties and her wow. launches and her wow. events she'll text me and i just think it's such a s- special connection that we have are we best of friends that talk about emotions no mm-hmm. but do we have a mutual understanding respect for each other and um ad- adoration for each other yes because mm. i think that after 10 years, she knows that I have been there for her and I've always been there for her. Mm-hmm. And I've never sold her out in any way. Wow. Which I think that's what a good friend does. Right. Absolutely. Even though it's a television friend. <laughs> it still works out that way. Awesome. And you never bite the hen that's fed you. And she has. Oh, really, people do that all the time, that's though. That's very true. Glad you haven't. Yeah. But yeah. And um, mm-hmm. I think I told Luke um, mm-hmm. privately. Okay, Paris, make it public. Paris actually. Um, wrote a recommendation letter for me to stay in America to get my work permit. Where are you from? I'm originally from Taiwan. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Wait, so you speak Chinese? I do. Oh, so fluently. You're, oh, you're for, you're you're legit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I read it too. Wow. So, um, yeah, I am here today mm. with a job and a career. A, a big part of it has to do with Paris, and so I, I thank her all the time. For what, what, I think what, we might need to use this. I, I mean, you're popping just a little. Okay. Is it stuck on there? Like that? Oh, let's That's go for okay. It. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a little better. Okay. okay. So yeah. you, um, when did you move to, like, okay, you, you were born in Taiwan. Yes. Um, from what uh, you've told me before, like you moved somewhere else after that. So I was born in Taiwan. I moved to Malaysia when I was five. Whoa. And I stayed there for, I think, 13 or 14 years. And I realized that, you know, if I want to be a true artist and designer and uh, be able to ex- you know, express myself and be free, I have to come to America. And mm. LA was the place I settled on mm. in because I feel like, you know, this place has just enough weirdos around to inspire me, but also <laughs> it's big enough yeah. for me to kind of escape the Hollywood LA life and live on the outskirts. Awesome. Oh, that's true. I mean, like that, I mean, that's LA's the a big place. Too. It's yeah. huge. Huh? Yeah. You know, and like, yeah. But when, well, how old were you when you moved here? I was... 19, I think. Oh, wow. 18, 19. So did, yeah. did you come here with an accent? No, I... Uh, I don't understand slightly. this. Slightly. So I was in a British school the whole entire time oh. growing up. So I would say words like, I can't do this, or let's go to the loo, mm. and you're having a fag, which, by the way, means cigarettes. <laughs> um, so <laughs> stuff like that. But I quickly just kind of adapted to the American hey guys, I can't do this, you know, welcome back to my channel. (laughs) So it worked out because I I feel like people in America like, you know, their friends or whoever they kick it with to sound like them. Them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have a a certain like a California-ish, you know. Like valley girl a little bit. A little bit, yeah. You know, I mean, it's um, like if I, like I remember when I first met you, I, you know, what I remember the first day we met. Really? Yeah. And was it a royal tea? It was tea? a royal tea. And this is the thing, okay? I was so starstruck. I was like, oh my gosh, that's Luke Chu. I was, <laughs> I was saying that to all the waitresses around there. And I said, like, oh my gosh, that's Luke Chu, Luke Chu. And um, I think I went up to you. Mm-hmm. And I was behind you, and I think you're drawing something. And I just said, Luke, I love you. <laughs> and that's how I think we, we, we started you know, chatting. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. Which was uh, great. Well, you know, freaking, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember the first time I met you and like, I've known you for a while now. A I know time, that. Yeah. yeah. And, but like, you know, I think a good chunk of it was like when I was just like a mess. <laughs> Weren't we all though? Weren't we all? <laughs> not, not in the same way, maybe. <laughs> yeah, his, yeah. his mess was a different mess. <laughs> yeah, I was in a deep mess. But like, um, I, I do remember introducing. I remember like one of the one moment I did remember meeting you was freaking at royalty mm-hmm. again, and um, it was a shoujo no tomo, you know, oh, thing. Yes, and then yes. my friend Jeru was here. Was there, yes. And like, um, he was like, introduce us, because like he was like. You know, because you're that. like fucking your aunt. I love that. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> you know, you know, and you so. know what? I still have Luke. You gave me a picture that you drew of me. And <laughs> oh I my gosh! It. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I framed it, and it's it's in my workroom. I see it every day, and yep. I and I was hold, I'm holding it ice cream that has blood all over it. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> of course, it's very wow. Luke. <laughs> awesome. And they had the glasses. They, they had, had the glasses, glasses and the hair the, and everything. Yeah, it was like when you had the longer, like, you yes, know, kind of bobbish. Yes, a little bobbish, exactly. Yeah. 
So, you know, I was actually like, you know, um, I remember uh, I was uh, looking you up on, on YouTube, you know, because um, I wanted to see some of those older, you know, Paris Hilton episodes. <laughs> and um, they're not, I can't find them, you know. But, you know, the thing is, is that like, you know, you were like popping up in a lot of like, like you know, paparazzi kind of stuff. And, you know, um, like I think one of the video was when you were at the Hello Kitty Right. You know, event like in Santa that. Monica, you know, and they're like, you were coming out and they're like, Hodge, Hodge. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that was a very bizarre time of my life. You know, do you like miss that kind of like, you know, insane, pointless coverage? So I don't miss that because I feel like I'm actually a very private person. And I think, you know, mm-hmm. I'm very low key and um, I try not to get attention. But that part of my life was very useful when you have something to promote. Sure. <laughs> so literally it's you you are your own billboard which I thought was so great at that time and mm-hmm. whatever I wanted to sell, mm-hmm. I was able to wear it, sell it and get it out there immediately. So right. that was really cool. But now thanks to social media, we are our own paparazzis. Right. And right. we are able to have release a public statement literally you know in the palm of our hands which i think is so wonderful right 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 right. but like you know it's i mean because of i mean it it wasn't it don't you think it was easier than like you know to it was definitely easier to garner attention back then because i feel like back then people that got coverage were either celebrities or reality stars Mm -hmm. and that was the, the beginning of the reality world now it's so saturated. There is literally a reality star every other block, and mm. I, I don't think they get the same amount of coverage anymore. And since YouTube is such a big platform mm. for creating talents, I don't think people even watch television as much anymore. Like I guess stuff like TMZ, I think I don't see it as much. Me too. And yeah. Perez Hilton, I forgot about. I hate to oh, say. Oh no, it. I Sorry. love Perez. <laughs> Sorry, I know. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that oh, person. No. I, yeah. I, you know. Like, like One is, thing that, is, I have is Perez say, Hilton still active? Of course, and his website's still on I have, point. I have no I love idea. Him. And okay. he actually also has a really Sorry. good podca- podcast, by the way. Okay. So, um, which I also listen to. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, so Perez Hilton is still out there. Yes, I, I Perez, no, I love you. See, I had no idea. <laughs> Sorry, Perez. And by the way, he has, he, he has um, I think, three, three or four, three beautiful kids. Oh, awesome. And I, I think that, you know, a person like that, that used to have such a negative history to see them turn themselves around and be a positive influence. I feel like that's really great. Is he still doing television and like, yeah, he does um, appearances and see, I really can't speak for him because I know that, you know, I'm, 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 I follow him on social media and to, to keep up to date with everything. But I mean, he's doing great for himself. Uh, Perez Hilton is kind of, was, was one of the downfalls that I guess not a downfall, but, the negative things was that whole Boston bomber thing. Wasn't that Perez Hilton was kind of part of that? Oh, I have no idea. When they idea. were trying to, they kind of doxed two people that they thought were the bombers, but then they actually weren't. And oh. I, think it was, I think it was no Perez way. Hilton, I think, kind of wrote, said something about it. Then that's where the media caught attention and started thinking it was fact. And those two people like who were innocent started getting like... Oh, I wasn't aware of that. I think it was Perez Hilton. I, I don't, I'm pretty but sure he, it was. But this is the thing. Perez yeah. is an entertainment blogger. So yeah, but that, you know, it's one of those things, just passing news as fast as you can and you know, social media. We need to <laughs> fact check that, little, by the way. A little bit irresponsible <laughs> at the time, probably. Now it's way more responsible, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Perez Hilton. At first I thought it was TMZ, and I think it's Perez Hilton that did that. Sorry, it's not Perez Hilton. Perez Hilton. Perez. <laughs> right? Who is it? <laughs> it was not TMZ. I think it's Perez Hilton. Take a look. Anyway. Weirdness. I'm, I'm You'll looking. find it. You'll find it faster. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Perez Hilton on Twitter. New FBF photo of Boston bomber suspect too. I don't so, know. It was. I think it was, and I think it was yeah. a big deal. But anyways, wow. nonetheless, he yes. made a comeback. Yes. He got kids now. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. That's. I love it. a good comeback story. So I, think I it's guess. So great. I don't know. Uh, he wrote know. something about yeah. like you know. I think and then people thought it was fact, and uh, I think things went wrong there. Mm, well, yeah. that weird dog. <laughs> oh, that's a weird dog. Okay. Yeah, that's a weird dog. Yay. You know, but so well, you know, lately you've been. Um, I mean, like, I, I think my one of my introductions to you was like a lot of your jewelry design. Like you were doing like these crazy, like Ross looking stakes on necklaces, yes, meat necklace. You know, and um, you know, just like weird food stuff. Uh-huh. You know, turned into jewelry. You know, um, are you still doing that kind of thing? I'm not doing. 
specific food themed jewelry anymore. Mm. But I think that, you know, a lot of times food is such a huge inspiration mm -hmm. that sure pretzel I, right pretzel. and i end up yeah, i end up, a pretzel. I end up yeah. making stuff yeah. that's food inspired yeah. i actually brought one second let me show you uh oh yeah. orange brought something this Whoa. this is the Nicki minaj cone that she wore to receive her vma that exact one this exact one how come Whoa. you have it well because she gave it back yeah <laughs> oh okay she, you loaned it <laughs> yes oh Nice. So it's like a half a cone. It's a half a cone. It looks great. It looks like an ice cream cone. It looks it real. Is an ice cream cone. You know, um, that's not a real cone. No. Oh. What is I mean, that? It's made of plaster sol. Oh. So everything yeah. is, I mean, not edible. So you could keep this for the rest of your life. Yeah, and it's um, it's awesome. got a beautiful like blue, <laughs> like shiny blue and shiny pink. You know, half and yeah. half chain. That what what flavors is this ice cream cone? It's magical. <laughs> yeah. It's of course. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> awesome. And it's in a, a regular cake cone, not a sugar cone, but a cake no, it's cone. A cake cone. How yeah. did you pick a cake cone over a sugar? Because I feel like that is more iconic to me. Mm -hmm. Well, you also because have the point on one end, and then like you know, you got to have a contrasting kind of. That's very thing, true. You know, very true. unless you went for a scoop, then you That's, couldn't. You know, right. Oh, That'd be nice. Is, this is soft serve. This is soft serve. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's got That's the soft so cool. serve has a pink, a yellow, and a blue um, yeah. swirl going through it. Yeah, you know, very this cool. is what make, uh, Nicki Minaj wore this. Yes, yeah. and this necklace. Very so cool. if you open it, you could like just sniff no, her. No. Okay, oh, the inside story, and this is so weird, but okay. when she gave back the necklace, there was actually a strand of hair on there, uh -huh. and it was her pink weave, which I thought was so funny, and I was like, wow, this is, <laughs> Nikki wore this, this is dope. Oh. <laughs> is, is, the we if the, is the pink hair still in there? Not on this one, I mean, I, I saved it, I didn't want to sound wow. like a freak, you know, okay. so I didn't want to bring it up, but okay, Luke. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, like, well, well you know, but like, I, I saw you had a piece um, in the twenty, the thirteenth anniversary show at Corey Helford Gallery. Oh yes, mm -hmm. uh, it is. Well, I think now what I'm trying to do is basically present myself as a designer artist. So instead of just creating products that's mass produced to sell, I would like to create one of a kind pieces that is gallery quality wow and were you doing that before though well, you're doing art. well I, I always said that it's wearable art but at the end of the day nothing was one of a kind because i would create at least you know 100 or 200 or, or in quantity w weren't you doing like flat art canvasy stuff you were right back I in the day i, I, I painted yeah. I, yeah i painted back in the day and i think that's when you know artists we, all, we always try to find our niche and I realized that I don't have the patience like you to sit there and paint because mm. I am borderline lazy. <laughs> 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 so I will think of, you know, the easiest way for me to get my point across, you know, without using too much time. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's so much other, you know, other shit you could be doing. There's so much to do. <laughs> <laughs> like lazing about. <laughs> you know. And well, you've been you were doing like a lot of also doing a lot of installation stuff recently too. Yes, because you know I realized that with this whole Instagram um, time that we're in, Instagrammable moments are so important. And um, so I worked with a couple of companies and collaborated with creating life experiences for them, so they could actually walk into my art and you know take photographs and use that hashtag to spread the word and. Um, be it more of something that they could leave and talk about and make memories. Because mm. yes, we could snap a photo in a gallery, but when you actually walk into this installation, you get this whole different vibe. And I think that's why one of like the Yayoi Kusama mm. um, exhibit oh. was so just phenomenal. Because mm. you're able to feel, you know, every single dot, every single tentacle, every single you know lantern that and you could be in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's so amazing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and I think I would love to do more of that. That is something that actually motivates me and and it makes me so excited because creating the art is great, mm -hmm. but being able to see the faces of the people walking into the installation mm -hmm. and see that smile, see that wondrous eyes, and just when they're in awe, I think that is just such a great feeling of accomplishment. Just so everyone at home knows, there's a karaoke going next door. That's we were able to hear just faint 
traces of it, I think, on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. American hear, Idol okay. on Sawtelle. Yeah. <laughs> Karaoke Blue. So, so you're, you're kind of almost the opposite. Some artists, it, it's, the, it's almost like the opposite idea, right? Like, it's not that they don't like the Instagram, but they're kind of like against the art that people are taking their, you know, just taking so many pictures of themselves and they're not really appreciating the art but there's more like i'm just i'm just here to take a picture i, I don't feel care like about the we art. have to you know evolve and go with yeah. the flow of the culture mm. you know um was it something that i thought was wonderful at first and the great idea probably not but then you know once you realize that it is proven to be successful and it's a way to get your art out there and it's something that people normal people as in people that aren't into art they could accept it yeah. And, and be able to immerse himself in it and talk to their friends about it. I think that's kind of wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I, I usually find myself kind of like rolling my eyes when I think of quote unquote Instagram museum stuff. But at the right. same time, you know, I mean, that's a valid point that mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm maybe the reason why I'm quote unquote rolling my eyes is because it's not me that you know, <laughs> you know exactly. So I'm like, oh, fucking ice cream museum, lame. <laughs> and then fucking, I'm like, fuck, I wish I fucking thought of that. True, you know? true. And I mean, they're killing it. And the funny thing is, I feel like a lot of these um, installations now aren't even made by artists. They're just made by corporations, and they just have a team of people creating all these moments that aren't actually art it's just gluing stuff on the walls and well my friend uh, scott tolson actually just did the one in um downtown disney oh nice you know so that one is killing it you know, yeah it's, it's, it's amazing i was surprised like you know like it, it, i was looking at the photos and i was like oh it's that's beautiful actually, that's actually it's good really you know? well executed so you know good job scott tolson awesome you know, so you know Scott, hook it up. We need to go. I want to check it out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people actually pay. They have to pay to go inside. They're like twenty dollars, and it's like the old ESPN, you know, oh, like where sport. It's at? Yeah, sport the cool. old sports bar. Yeah, That's that cool. was in downtown Disney. So, nice. you know, I mean, you know, it's not yayoi, yeah, you know, but you know, cool. it's Mickey Yoi. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you supposed to have like a, uh, a Hello Kitty um, installation thing? Uh, yes, we're actually um, still in the final stages of finalizing the date of it opening. I know it's been such a long process. Yeah, like we were talking about this like in December. I mm. know it, it's such it's been such a long crazy process. But the, the good the good news is we have the products mm. that will be for the the installation, and we have the designs. Mm. I think right now we're just trying to settle in on a good time to to roll it out because I feel like timing sometimes is everything, Mm -hmm. and um, we want to make sure it's perfect. But speaking of Hello Kitty, there Mm. is the 45th anniversary art show coming up, which you and I are doing together for Corey Helford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm working on what might be... My most controversial painting. Oh, uh, oh. and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it has no blood and guts or anything. Okay, like good, that, you good, know? good, good. But like, you know, it's, what does it have instead? Um, Penis? No, 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 no. Penis. No. Ass. It, it, the name of the no. painting is going to be Hello Kitty Fish, or Hello Catfish. Oh, you know, you know, I like so, that direction. You know, so it's basically yeah. like it's going to it's a eighteen by twenty four, and it's going to have a cut mat that is glued onto it. Uh huh. And the cut mat is like a you know a softly rendered Hello Kitty, you know, winking, you know, right, right, right. sign. And then everything outside of the mat, you know, is you know like grotesque and oh. obese, you know. And so like oh. it might be like controversial in this, the sense that it might be fat shaming, it might be you know whatever. But right. oh. But then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to fucking do this. It's, I think it's going to be <laughs> hilarious, you know. And um, I, I mean, I've been catfished so many fucking times on fucking oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> you know, on online dating. So it's fucking, from uh, personal experience. Exactly. It is and a personal experience. It's from ex- the heart. It is. And like, and like you know, I'm, I, I, I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, I don't think anyone should be ashamed of their fucking body image. But the thing is, is that like by, you know, posting up, Images that are obviously not what you look like, you know. The only person who's feeling shame is you, you know. Yep. So. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, but yeah. So what, what what have you got planned for that? Um, mine will be a necklace. Okay. And I think that's what that that would be that will be my thing from now on is just to be creating wearable art mm-hmm. that's one of a kind. Mm. 
because and I will still have all the merch that we have on the websites and everything, but I feel like being able to create stuff that's one of a kind is is special. Yeah. And it makes mm-hmm. things uh, you know, I want to bring up my value, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to be very honest about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get this, like, gear or your art into the hands of, like, really famous people, and how do they wear it? Like, you know, I've what's been the process so there? lucky and blessed with that part. I mean, there's no, like, payola, right? No, you know, you know, what's really strange is I feel like when you create stuff that is wild and unconventional, people have a way to find it, and people have a way to to reach out. And um, I feel like a lot of stuff that I've created are just so silly and kitsch and campy that there is a specific market that knows where to get it. They, they know that if they want something like that, like a pink fried chicken wing necklace, come to Anch and he'll hook it up. Actually, speaking of pink fried chicken, yes, you have something coming up this weekend. I do, I do. I have a collaboration with Bolo, and Bolo is a chicken sandwich company, and they're actually, um, I think, top 10 best fried chicken sandwiches in, in, in L.A. Mm. by Eaters L.A. Wow. And Where we, is it at? It will be at Santa Monica Pier for Smorgasburg, L.A. Oh, wow. Wait, they moved it to Santa Monica Pier? Well, this is the thing. This, it's their, they, they do it every summer, but this time is to celebrate Santa Monica Pride. It's their first Santa Monica Pride, mm. and it will be a whole month of Pride celebration, and we in will, Santa Monica? Yes, in wow. Santa Monica. And we'll be kicking it off on June 1st, this Saturday, on the pier. So if you guys want to come check it out, we have pink fried chicken sandwich <laughs> with pink glitter, pink garlic sauce. Wait, so is the glitter edible? Of course. And it's so sparkly. <laughs> it tastes good? Yes. I mean, is it tastes flavor? magical. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all inspired by this piece. Let me show you. So um, the reason why pink fried chicken was because... A couple of years back, eight years to be specific, <laughs> I created a necklace for Nicki Minaj, oh. and it's a pink fried chicken wing necklace. Oh, my gosh. And it was Lady Gaga's, I mean, it was oh. Nicki Minaj's Lady Gaga meat dress moment, kind of. And um, so eight years later, I figured I want to fulfill yeah. my dream of being able to taste a pink fried chicken. So what does pink fried chicken taste like? Well, it tastes good, for one. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> so it's just dye, though. It's wonderful pink It's not color. dye, Eric. Yeah. It's magic. It's pink <laughs> dye. I mean, you can use, like, radish, you know. Or, um, like pomegranate a, juice? Or, ra- or the juice of a radish to... Yes, to pomegranate juice would work. Beet mm-hmm. juice? Beets? And it yeah, give beets, it, like, a good, a nice, beets. sweet taste to it, hopefully, too. But I, I, I saw the picture say, of it. It looks delicious. kind of like a cra- like a, a cross between a turtle and a crab. Oh. <laughs> you know, because, like, the, the French fries underneath it, like, right. have that crab leg kind so of So the thing. bolo bun is a H- Hong Kong treat that is, I guess, like, they buy it on the streets or something, and it's 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 a bun that has... Some you know what kind it looks like? It looks like one of those stuff. Mexican pastries. Yes, like this, you it know. does. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a slight sweetness to it mm. and mixed awesome. with the fried chicken it's so delicious and when you add glitter on it it's even better <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> come on down <laughs> so, um, so how do you what is this made out of it's made of plaster saw plaster saw so are you doing this yourself or are you finding a person that does we this? have a manufacturer like, that wow. makes these okay. but i will i'm normally the first one to do the first to make the first piece i mean did you get like where'd you get this original piece of chicken from KFC. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, hey, I wasn't sure. You know, I was, like, I was like thinking maybe this is like a Ralph's Market chicken, fried chicken. No, 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 <laughs> Ralph. KFC. Boom. Yes. Okay. The classic. It's like an American extra crispy, com- too. Right? Crispy. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Is it extra crispy or crispy, crispy? Extra crispy. And your chains, you're not using like 18 karat gold or anything. Not these. But so, recently we've been venturing out into that world just because people like to buy value. Sure. And they want they want something that is semi-precious. Mm-hmm. So, we've been doing that recently. So, we've sent um, Sam Smith a 14 karat um, gold chicken wing necklace recently because he asked for it on Instagram. And it's the same chicken as this? No. He, he got a small version and it's a gold version of oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the reason why we even launched the gold version was because... Remember Remy Ma? Who is that? She's like I a know rapper. She went to jail, but she had a she had a beef with um, Nicki Minaj. Uh-huh. So since they had beef, Remy Ma wrote a rap song, a diss track, mm. 
in the diss track, the first sentence was about the pink fried chicken wing necklace. Oh. So because of that, I relaunched the necklace in a smaller version that is metal casted, and that's the one that Sam Smith has. Okay, dumb question. Do you know who Sam Smith is? No. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my God, you guys! So who's Sam Smith? Uh, Sam Smith is he, he an athlete? Like no, a, he's like, a musician. Is he on the he's is he on the really Portland Trailblazers or something? Is he? Sam I don't Smith. even know what a Portland Sam Trailblazer is. Uh, I'm just thinking of like the does most. Does he play football like, or like uh, a freaking? This is Sam Smith. He did the. He, he's a UFC fighter. Sam Smith. No, no and he has oh, like. I thought. I thought. I didn't know he was gonna be a white guy first off. I, I thought white guy immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did not. I did not because I when I saw the jewelry, I was thinking, no, it's not Sam Smith. No, you've heard his songs. He's very famous. He's, I, I don't mean, think so. Six <laughs> Grant nominated for six Grammys. I, it's even worse and more. That's even oh, harder no. for me to. But Sam Smith. <laughs> yeah, Sam. Smith. Go, Sam Smith. Look how boring that name is. It's great. It yeah. works. Uh, like, like, you know, like open up fucking, like, look up Sam Smith on fucking Instagram. You have to be verified if you want anyone to find you. Yeah, because there's like five million Sam Smiths oh my God. in LA. I'm so right? sorry for bringing your name up, Sam. Sam, you're probably rad, but, yeah. you, but your name is just Sam Smith. Yeah. Uh, you know, what, what was your middle name, Sam? I mean, like, you know, John? everybody. John. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> So wait, <laughs> Sam Smith. Uh, what, what's a song by Sam Smith? And, uh, and Sam Smith with, is, is stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, romantic. Okay, very yeah. nice. Yes, yeah. and um, I mean he wrote the James Bond song. What you mean? The, which one? Diamonds are forever, or one no, of those? No, writings are, on oh, the wall. Oh, what's I, see? Like you know uh, what? I, I after after freaking Goldfinger, like and, and maybe Duran Duran. What about Skyfall? Like, you know, Skyfall. That song. Did he write Skyfall? I don't know. Skyfall? That was Who wrote oh. Skyfall? <laughs> Maybe Beyonce. Oh, was it Adele? <laughs> no. Maybe it's Adele. Maybe Adele. It, was it Adele. sounds Adele. It was Adele, right? I think. Yeah. yeah. I so think he's it was not an Adele. Adele thing. No. So, yeah. But he wears but one of these or a small the gold smaller version. version. Yeah. Why won't he go with the big pink? Yeah. Because like, we, gr- man- we don't manufacture those anymore. Even if you're Sam Smith. I mean, like, you know what? That looks, I mean, like, you know what? So For cool. eight, something I, being I eight cool. years old, like, this is, like, really hold, held up. I'm. Oh, I'm impressed with the materials. Top notch material. So, yeah. do, how much is this retailing for usually? That, a pink? That I think was either 100 or 120. Oh, okay. So well, that's like very right reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Mm-hmm. You, you can, want a piece of pop culture history? $100, there. no big deal. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. <laughs> how about the ice cream necklace? About the same? It's just around the same price. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Where, where, where would people buy your gear at? Like where at? They would normally buy it from the website. So it's onch.us. Oh, so there's no shops. There's no physical shops, but um, we had we had a couple of stores that would purchase them wholesale. Right. And that was that. It wasn't any specific stores that I would remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Right. Yeah. Right but hey, guys, I brought something for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a new product that I'm launching. Well, Do, I just launched. What color is it? It's a Pink? lot of colors. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's hiccups. What are hiccups? These? So hiccups... Right. You need to read it. Oh, oh my you need God. to read it. It's hickey cover up. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> wow. And I also brought some for you guys to use right now. So, oh. and I brought the spray bottle because you know what? Why would you not so, use okay, it? Okay, so what we're okay, looking so. at are these special, um, like, you know, uh, I guess removable tattoos. Or yes, temporary tattoos. Temp, temp tattoos. But you know. it's specifically designed to cover your hickeys. So you're taking a what, what would be a very common product, but having a making a very sp- specific application for it. Yes. Very clever. We are right. just repackaging it. Are, are you? Is this like? It, are you like when you think of this stuff? Is this um? Are, are you you know? Are you trying to find ways to bend what's kind of common out there and turn it into something cooler? No, I, you know <laughs> when I come up with these things, I like silly stuff. I feel like right. stuff that makes people smile with a little bit of humor in it. Mm-hmm. Makes the world go round, you know. Well, I mean, and, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying is, you know, like someone could use this as a temporary tattoo yes. as well. But my mom used is, it. The idea is it goes here or, mm-hmm. or something, right? So, yeah. Eric, do you want a hickey right now? Who's gonna give me a hickey? I don't know, Luke. Probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Luke, so you should I'm apply a, one. I'm gonna apply it. Okay, yeah, apply I'll, it. I'm gonna yeah, help I'll, you. Here, we'll some, so we'll, we'll, we'll all you gotta do is remove the clear film. Right. Press it against your skin, and I have the spray bottle here. Alrighty, here we go. We um, so for those who are not uh, who are listening to the audio, um, they are drawings of a sunny side egg, a an apple with a bite in it, 
oh, and orange. So and he's getting all of the tattoos all at once. He yeah, is, but I am. since you know I, okay. he's not really covering a hickey. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay, but so if, if I have never had hickey before, you have never lived. I, so. I, Wow. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Cool. Check it out. Oh, looks cool. So if you have a hickey that needs all four of these to cover up, that's a big hickey. Yeah. You know have what you're you called? Yeah. You call the no. hoe. <laughs> 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 so hoe. yeah, hoe is life, guys. Hoe is life. <laughs> that would be a giant hickey. Oh, this would be sure. like uh, I don't know. I've seen, I think I've seen like huge hickeys before. Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah, it's yeah. all over the place. And I it's know, like that's they're living their Bob. teenage dream. I'm talking <laughs> about just one giant hickey. It's like a wow. one of those things that sticks on a shark. The remora. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. rave, uh, uh, it's a remora, I believe, right? Uh, remora or something. Uh, yeah, it'd be like one of those. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's how big this hickey would be. Got like the ring of teeth. Going yeah, <laughs> yeah, just sucking your skin. It's it's also like you know when you get cupping. You yeah. know, you oh, can cover it. Yeah, you can cover, cupping. You can cover it. Yeah. There you go. With your yeah. cupping bruises. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That should be your next next one. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you that's know? a good really sell them at the Olympics. Right? Or, yeah. You know. Yeah. Just covering up the cupping. Yep. Yeah, Eric, a, you want to read the back of it? Sure. Um. Wait. Which part? The label. Um. Instagram. Anch. No. <laughs> Anch. Us. Anch. Okay. No. Hiccups by Anch. The world's first hickey cover up, designed for those oops. <laughs> oh, his life moments. <laughs> oh my God, we got you covered. Comes with four hiccups. That is more than you should ever need. But is that true? You Probably not. More. I think you need Probably more. Probably not. Uh, you know, <laughs> you, th- these would be great, especially in high schools, because right? you know, like they don't know any better. They, they think hickeys know. are cute. Yeah. It's yeah. not, guys. No. But, but why, why an egg for a, a hickey cover up? Because I'm gonna cover my hickey with an egg. Well, I mean. <laughs> They had a sunny old time. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, I think the mouth with the kind of like jagged teeth is, you know, and is very telling. So the mouth, I made the inside of the mouth clear so the hickey will actually show through. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, which will be the inside of the mouth. So, did you draw these? I did, just with a pen, like really easy, or because yeah. you said you like to do things all fast because you're lazy and all that. Well, stuff. okay, you know what? That is for pro- certain projects, but these I took a lot of time. Okay, creating. A, they're good, nice illustrations. Thank you, thank you Wait, so much. You are not an illustration major, though. Were you at? No, I was. A, I'm a graphic design major. Oh, at at a Cal? No, no, Cal Art. Uh, at Art Institute, which no longer exists. What is what is that? The Art Institute was in Santa Monica. Oh, that was at they my closed, Sa- they closed Santa Monica, down. near Santa Monica College, near the airport. Yes. That's closed down? Yeah, they closed it. They didn't closed it, so many of them. Didn't recently. it become a culinary school, too? Yes, it was part of the. And they that's had all it. closed? Mm-hmm. What's there now? I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay. Oh. But definitely no longer, my memories are no longer there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I did a, I might have did a talk there once. Like yes, a, you know what? I think you did. I you, think you brought I did. it up to me once. I did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Back I think in the I day. did. I forgot, but I'm pretty sure I went there and did a talk for the students. It's very to fitting. To tell you though, how, how you to do. To inspire them. Yeah, to tell you how to do shit. I love that. I'm just kidding. But nonetheless, no, you, that's gone. I didn't know. Oh, well, I didn't know. Okay. There is a, there is, I thought there, well, isn't there like a, an art school now in Orange County or by like Newport Beach or something like there's that? There's the Laguna, I don't know. Laguna, there's a Laguna Hill School or something. Right. Laguna right. Art something. Yeah, a friend of mine. Laguna Art Institute, maybe? They have a good library. I know that because they, um, they go to Zine Fest and buy books for their library. Oh. They do stuff Zine. like that. Yeah. Zine Fest. No, they're really uh, aggressive about finding cool books. Nice. Nice. <laughs> La- Laguna College of the Arts or something like that. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Met a, I had a, a friend that um, I guess was a photographer out there. And then like, you know, you know I w- we met at like some kind of crazy eatery thing in Orange County that's like several layers and layers of eatery. What's yeah. That? Layers of different restaurants. They had a oh, place that sold, served um, like porchetta. You know, the rolled pork with all the herbs and... Oh, that sounds uh, good. I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, it's, porketa. It's, it's, sounds, sounds like porketa. a... Porketa. Yeah. 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 You know. Sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> a oh, porketa. But that you eat. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but then, like, right across the street, there was this little cafe, and there's just all these, like, you know, art students hanging out. And I'm like, oh, check that out. Cool. Yeah. You know, Orange County. It's yes. got an art school. Nice. You know, but I don't know. All right, so wait... Can we go back to Paris Hilton? I have, I have sure. more questions. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> a little bit. Well, she, she kind of disappeared for a bit, or it seemed like it, because I didn't. I haven't heard from her mm-hmm. at all. Then now you're saying there's an album, and I haven't heard of that, or a single, and I haven't heard of that. But what has she been doing besides this music thing for so, the last uh, 
Can I say five years? When I'm, yeah, I, I don't think I've heard of her for five DJ, years. And she's a really actually good DJ. And she she would she actually has I think residencies at different okay. clubs around Las the world. Las Vegas, right? No, she has. Doesn't she have like? A I know there's in one Vegas? in Ibiza, and she did like the Diamonds and Films party for summers. Mm. And I think what's what she's doing right now is what she's meant to be doing, which is partying. She's that's you know she's the queen of that. She created the whole famous for. Being famous. Yeah, so mm. I was going to ask, what was she ever famous for? And I'm kind of unsure. Like, she wasn't a DJ. She just showed up at places and was in pictures, right? Yeah, and I think That's she, interesting. she is like the a original phenomenon. Instagram person. Yeah, like, she's, yeah. the, she's the original influencer in yeah. many ways. Yeah. She showed up to parties and gets paid. And, and if she was at a party, it was a... It, it's that a pop-in party, sh- right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you would get all the press coverage. Yeah. And you know what, now that you think about it, it's pretty much what the girls are doing right now. They go to all these parties and instead of having press coverage, you'll post it on their Instagram, which sure. is their press. Well, that's kind of how that stupid thing was. What was that party thing that failed? The fire. Yeah, fire, the fest, fire right? fest, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what that's that was. That's amazing, right? yeah. That's exactly what it was. They wanted models to post Love. themselves, you know, and say mm. the fire fest is rad and it was just models and... It was kind of fun. You know, well, yeah, it was that, all fake. That was yeah. such great entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, yeah. I watched both of those dec- documentaries, the Netflix too. and the Hulu one, and they but were so good. But you know what you realize, though? Like, people that went to Firefest just looked like they were losing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, people that go to Coachella look like they're winning and having the best time. That's a lie. But that's just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you went to, you went I to love, Coachella I this year. Coachella. <laughs> you know? No, I, I actually, yeah. I've been going for the past five years, and I'm a little bit obsessed. I am. I confess that I'm one of those do people. You camp? No, I do not. Are you kidding me? We rent a beautiful house <laughs> wow, with okay. a pool. Yeah, exactly. So like, who, who goes? Who do you go with to Coachella? I have a group of friends that we do that every year. Are they like creatives too that make stuff like yourself? No, or? you know it's so interesting. We're all we all come from different worlds. So one, my best friend is a doctor, so he's the ER doctor. Wow. And mm-hmm. there's another one. She is a um, banker. So it's it's a very interesting, eclectic group of people. Mm-hmm. And I think what's so great is you're able to, well, at least in Coachella, we're able to get together and connect in such a way where in normal life we won't, mm. just because we would never interact with a doctor in a friendly way. You know? I mean, unless you... <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Unless you're trying to get prescription or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's always. I think it's always good to have doctor friends. Oh, of course. You know, like that way. Like, so do you think I should like go to you know uh, remove this tattoo? <laughs> that I just got? <laughs> <laughs> like you know, or should I go see a dermatologist about this? You know, or you know, kind of thing. But like, gotta love yeah. the doctor friends. But you know, I mean, did you? Well, so what? What acts did you see at Coachella this year? Oh, we had we well. We saw Ariana Grande for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. We saw Janelle Monae and Zed, and I don't really don't remember the rest just because <laughs> we were just going to different parties. And you went in the first week. Yes, yeah. and so we went to all the different parties, like the Moschino parties, the Galore, the you know all the different events. So how do you, you can just get into all these parties? No, you have to RSVP, be on the list, like how we have to be on the list this Sunday to vote for you. But how do you get on the list? <laughs> oh. Can Luke See, get on the list? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, how Luke can I get on the list? Luke is an established artist. Why don't you start doing that, Luke? Because you're yeah, all Luke. the way there. You should go to these I, I, I've been, you know, I'm actually friends with... Um, Moschino? Like, no, oh. I'm, I'm friends with... Oh, God, what was their last Moschino name? Moschino makes there, bags, man. right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm friends with the, um, the people that... Um, what, uh, I have a friend who, an old collector of mine who married into the family that owns the polo fields. No way. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is rich on another level. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it is totally rich on a whole Didn't other level. Didn't you do stuff for Coachella once, though, the trash can? Yeah, I did that last year. That's you know? dope. But, like, you know... Um, yeah, uh, but, like... Doing all that just for a tier one VIP badge is just a lot of work for. I there's like I five tier there's five I tiers agree. of VIP I you know agree. and yeah. like so what what VIP level do you go as? Well, this year we went general admission just because. Oh. Well, Ouch. hear me out. The reason why we did that was because we weren't going to be in the festival too long because we're go- we're hitting up all the different parties. Mm-hmm. So we figured, you know what, like we're not going to spend a thousand dollars on the ticket. We'll just you know have fun and go to different events. So that's why we did that. Last year we did VIP. That was a travesty because I felt like we didn't get treated any differently. Oh no, it, it's fuck a tier one fucking VIP <laughs> badge is just like, you're, you're still a plebe. 
you're still <laughs> a fucking plebe fucking walking through the thing. You just happen to have access to this full... A different this group, bar. This, a different bar. <laughs> yeah. You know, a different gigantic field filled with fucking douchebags. You know, <laughs> and fucking... I, I didn't even know there were all these parties around, too. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, yes. Like, it's, Netflix has it's good only parties. only week one, American though, from my, from oh, okay. my friend. My friend was telling me, yeah, like, yeah. Week she, one. Um, I had a friend who... Like worked in PR and stuff like that, nice. and so she like you know used to go to week one parties and stuff like that. And Luke, we need to do that. That's so much fun. <laughs> like I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> so what do you do at these parties? Well, I you know I think the important thing, at least for me at Coachella, is to socialize with people that I don't normally socialize with because mm. I don't go out in LA, and mm. at Coachella is a very concentrated group of people that have very similar interests and are within that, I guess, industry. So it's nice to be, you know, all concentrated at that area and share these experiences and kind of um, get their numbers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> get that contact. <laughs> you know, I am, I am so bad at, like, self-pimping. I need, like, a freaking, like, manager to go out there and fucking do the pimping, uh, b- being my pimp, you know, because... You know, but like then again, I don't really just take on managers. Like oh, I've, it's I've, hard. Yeah, it's I've, so hard. I've never had an official manager before, but like, and I, I mean, I've worked with people on mm-hmm. certain things, but like, you know, it's just like if you can't fucking get me something I can't get on my own, then well, let's talk. But like, you know, if you're just gonna fucking that like sit sense. back and skim, you know, freaking ten to fifteen percent off of me, well then fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a manager? I, I do not. Okay. I did in the past. Oh, you did? Yeah. How did that work out? Uh, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out. Well, well, when did you have a manager? Was it like during the earlier, uh, earlier yeah, stages? Yeah, earlier stages. And see, I think as a creative, mm-hmm. and you could correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of the gigs come directly to you. Yeah. Yep. Into your into your phone, into your you know yeah. DMs. They just, they'll message you directly. Exactly. They do not go through your agency or manager. So... I didn't realize that. I thought having a manager was protection. Mm -hmm. Yes, the person protected me, but it also took my money. Right. (laughs) You know, more than I should be paying. But like, like say like this Hello Kitty uh, installation thing that you've got coming up, like, Mm -hmm. was that something that you set up on your own, like talking to different, you know, companies or was that something that like a management company kind of helped? That was, that was because we have such a great, long, extensive relationship with Sunrio. Mm. That was directly through Sunrio. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Like, yeah, I think that, um, you know, because, like, you know, obviously, like, you know, there's different tiers of, like, you know, kinds of events. And, like, some of them will just, you know, try and, like, you know, will, when they think of, like, an idea, those go straight to different management companies and go, hey, you know, right. who do you have that would work, be good for this? Right. You know, and or agents too, right? Yeah, or agents, yeah. right? They're yeah. like, oh, you. This sounds like a perfect fit for Wes Anderson to do, yes. and mm-hmm. you know, then they put you in a room together, right? Mm-hmm. That that's kind of what an agent can do if they have the power. Yeah, yeah for but sure. yeah, the dilemma of like, you if know, they don't have the power, it's Anch, meet Eric Nakamura. He, okay, you know, you guys are so silly. <laughs> Oh, meet, meet Luke Chu. Like, oh, meet Luke. Oh. 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 You guys are silly. <laughs> but like, you know, but the problem with, you know, self-managing is that you have a tendency of also like not well, not saying no to anything. And you know? I think a lot of times, sometimes you also get lowballed because you don't have another person fighting for what you are worth. Right. And I think that is what is important to have a team, but I think other than that, as a creative, a lot of times we could tackle everything by ourselves. Absolutely. I, I think that, like, um, you know, when I freaking started, I mean, not to make it only about me, but, like, you know, the in the beginning, like, everything I was doing was, like, you know, in the hundreds of dollars range, you know, and it wasn't until I got into galleries that, like, you know, and who had not only their profits in, uh, in, on my, uh, you know, in, in mind, but, you know, my own, then, like, were, was able to get my general rate up, nice. you know, and so I think that, you know, the, the problem with, you know, social media and being, you know, selling exclusively out of, through social media is that you might, like, you know, stick yourself into a price category that is, 
you know, much lower than you're actually generally worth or potentially worth, Right. you know, and, you know, sure, you're making a little, you're making 50% more money, but, you know, you'll probably be like an $800 artist forever, you know, forever, that you know, sucks. rather than a fucking $8,000 artist, rather than an $80,000 artist, rather than an $800,000 artist, or cause an $8 million artist. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, Amazing. $15 million. <laughs> you weren't, you were halfway there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like you were, you're saying that like just recently he sold the painting for what? Like $5 million? Six. Six. Well, that includes the auction fees, but six. Yeah, and like you know, and the thing is, is like that cause only, is, only. Well, ca- cause <laughs> is, unless cause was Fuck. selling his own work through the fucking auction house, he can. You know, he <laughs> all could. you do is make one and you sell know, it to put it. In he there. could, <laughs> but like, but most of the most of the people that are selling paintings are own are people who own you know the work sure. you know and have been holding on to it and yeah. then you know turning it around and flipping it. Yep. You know, so all he has to do is sell one. Yeah, probably has. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You never know. Who I'm, knows? Rennies. So but. <laughs> it's like we just brought the conversation down by talking about that. It's like, wah, oh. Wah. <laughs> oh. oh, Luke, ruin killing the convo. You know. Well, well. I want to show you guys something new. That I, I thought hiccups were. New. That's new. Hiccups <laughs> new. But okay. then um, it's Pride Month coming up, so I figured I should. You know, show you guys something so that's Pride. When is theme. Pride Month? It's June. June. Why is the it whole June? Of June? Oh, you know what? That's a good question. So I'm not a- quite sure. This is Asian Month still. What do you mean? Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. <clears throat> oh. It's it's May. Oh. Yeah. Just I so had you knew. no idea that that was even we even had a month. That's why we have him here. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm, just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, let no, me no. show you guys. Uh, it's it's it should be shouldn't it be like Asian Heritage Month every month? So I have these new tank tops. Be, uh oh. Oh, I saw you it's putting, for posting pride. this. Yes. And um, it's like a naked dude with an art penis. Yeah, yeah. Because an a, art dick is okay to yes, show. Yes, And I, I, I kind of want to bring it up that, you know, with this whole, like, free the nipple movement. How is that an art dick? Well, I mean, it's... Oh, it's okay. not, like, super, like, you know... I guess it is art. ...rendered, you know. <laughs> yeah. it's, like a Dave, it's like David's dick. With a little stain on the side, so, you know? So the votes were wow. for the dick rather than the apple. Yes. So oh. I just want to bring up what's on the what's on the back? Is oh, it the it's same? A, the back is the butt. My best friend's ass. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Let's see, let, let's so you can it. find this on my website, by the way. But I was gonna say, Ooh, um, nice with this whole free the nipple movement, we see a lot of breasts around. People wearing shirts that have breasts printed on it and everything. Mm-hmm. I personally think that we probably we need a lot more products with dicks on it. Sure. <laughs> you know, sure. like you know. That's free the only dick. fair. Free the, I don't free, know if we need to free the dick. Free the bean. <laughs> <laughs> so do you make this in other, is it only a tank top or do you make it in other forms too? So I figured it's summer, so it will be tank tops for now. And uh-huh. then for later this year, we have a fall collection coming out that wow. has long sleeves and stuff. Are you actually like uh, getting this printed because it's all the way to the edge? You know what I'm it's saying? Like oh, yes, it's, cu- it's, it's cut and sew. Wow. So everything is printed and then hand sewn. Oh my gosh. To perfection. It's nice material. Thank like you. it's really light. In and, what country you know. is this made? Oh, America. Oh, is Whoa. it? Yeah. Wow. L.A. to be specific. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Thank I you. I was looking at going. Wow, there's a lot of way more effort than I'd put into making things. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> do you have shirts too? I have shirts, but I'm saying is you know you're doing this cut and sew thing and oh. it's, that's another process well because if they do um very nice direct to garment print yeah on would, the edges it can't, it can't do on it. the edges there'll be there'll be white fold marks yeah. and it's hideous yeah mm. but like you know they well let me can i see that again of course no it's mm. it's a it's a it's an ordeal luke you, likes the art dick i do i do <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, it's obviously kind of like a reference to David, you know, or yes, you know, absolutely. Michelangelo's David. Yeah. It's covered in splatters of of color, and it's uh, the background is pink with um, a very light magenta with a kind of a medium magenta dots all over it. And his brand name Launch, Launch is on the back. On the back yeah. with the pretzel. With the pretzel. How long have you been doing the pretzel for? Oh my God, this year would be oh, it's it was ten years last year, so wow. we're at eleven. Oh no! Was it this year's the tenth? I think oh, this year's the tenth. We're at ten. Yeah, the, this year's the tenth. <laughs> have you? How is it going? I mean, like, have people been responding to it? Or you know, it's it's been a very interesting journey, just because um, I was doing some kind of transitioning to just my manufacturing, my price point, and the different way I get stuff out there. Sure. So 
last year was very experimental and we also kind of limited the movement part of my aunt movement and um we also had a new logo so we had somebody redesign the logo and make it i guess more versatile mm -hmm. <clears throat> so with that said the products are flying out the shelves this year which is great oh that's great and um i'm trying to introduce more of my illustrations into what I do, mm -hmm. such as the hiccups and the, all the shirts, because I feel like, you know, as an artist, I get bored of one medium. So if I'm going to be making one of a kind wearable art for museums and galleries, I would like to create illustrations that's mass produced for t-shirts and tanks and different merch mm -hmm. because it's affordable to people and it's also original art. Have you thought about like diving into like the art toy kind of thing too? You know, I thought about that, but you're killing it in that department, so I'm afraid. <laughs> well, you know, what's, uh, what's interesting is that, like, I mean, like, there's, there's a room, I mean, like, because, like, you know, I think that, you know, stylistically, you know, you and I are, are very different, you know, mm -hmm. in the sense, and that, like, you know, there is, you know, I mean, like, turning that illustration idea into a an actual, like... A 3D object? 3D object with, That'd like, you know, big freaking like reliefed kind of splashes of color on yes, it, you know, could, you know, then cover that entire thing in gloss, you know, what? and, uh, <laughs> wait, Luke, are you actually going to make that happen? No, I, 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 I do not freaking like make things happen. I, I, I literally sell the ideas to other people to fucking make it for well, me. Well, sell it for me. You know? <laughs> but we'll like, make it work. But like, you know, I think that like there is, um, yeah, I mean like, you know, especially since like, you know, you have, I mean like, I remember like, I think it was like last year or two years ago, you did like the, the signage for the um, the Pride. Oh, uh, right, LA you know, Pride. You know, um, I was the featured artist for them. You know, and so which means you have a you know you have a following, especially in the um, the you know gay you know Pride movement kind of. The LGBTQ community. There it is. I'm yes. struggling with words, <laughs> and um, the um, you know, and I think that like you know, creating like limited edition art collectibles, you know, sculptural stuff. You know, that isn't even necessarily I wearable like stuff. Like, you know, is always profitable. I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're getting at, right? Yeah, which profitable. means, you know, what you so should be doing is you should You should be, be getting that double income money. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? Right? <laughs> you should be doing pop ups. I would love that. You know, That'd and be amazing. You know, like freaking like and like who is that what's the name of that company? You would probably know the name of it. So they actually they have a place um like black um black market represents it has like uh like used to have like something like in the front of their store with that cat like flipping you know oh or, yes oh, the middle know, finger cat or whatever i know who you're talking about yeah i'm well, like i remember going it's oh. on fairfax they have a shop don't yeah. they yeah yeah well two years ago i was in i don't know if it's um, still there but i was in new york and they had a pop-up there and it was like right. a, a full freaking installation two-story thing wow the, the um and they had like a bunch of like Dumb paintings with the cat, you know, right. giving the bird like one gigantic plush, you know, of the cat, you know, giving the bird, and then You're like doing really well, and doing then four T-shirts, yeah. you know, like you know, on, and you know, now they're fucking huge. It's insane. It's you know? insane. It just tells you, it shows you how one great idea could really change your life. Right. So you know, go we, for it. We got to pump out those great <laughs> ideas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, I, I think that. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, you've you've had like so many different movements in, um, you know, from, you know, fried chicken necklaces to, you know, free the dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I really want to do though? Ultimately, I just want to have fun and be cool. You know, mm. and I think that's. Aren't just, you doing those things already? Yeah, you're. you're I'm doing definitely that having or, fun. You know, you know. I cool? I think I'm cool, I think so. but <laughs> I'm not quite sure what other people think yeah. of me. But yeah. I, I you know I, I want to be able to showcase that and be able to tell show people and inspire people that you know what like if you follow your dreams and really don't worry about what other people think about what you're doing, you can really make wonders happen. Sure. Yeah. I, absolutely. Hundred percent. Completely agree with that. You know, I think, um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if that comes true for, I mean, you can't come true, come true for everybody who's, who tries it, but, but you got to you know? try hard yeah. enough yeah. if yeah. you don't, cause I mean, 
I've been doing this for this year's 15 years. Right. Mm-hmm. And That's Luke, it. I think you have been doing this for way 16, longer, right? 16, 16 years now. 25. Yeah. Wow. See, yep. Eric? <laughs> see? Like, now you own Sautel. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Vote for fucking Eric Nakamura. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Add you know. us on the list, though. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You, know. <laughs> <laughs> you should, like, you know, you should be the mayor of of, uh, of no, Osaka. You know? I don't want to be a mayor. And be a mayor mm-hmm. of West Hollywood, too. Uh, who's the mayor of West Hollywood? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> there must oh, be one. No. <laughs> you? You're going to be it. <laughs> Vote for Eric. Because they actually have a lot of um, art in West Hollywood, like public art. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. think oh, it's, it, it's so wonderful that the city is spending so much money on beautifying West Hollywood. Yeah, this like little four block you know, <laughs> is space. Is it more than four blocks? More than four blocks. I always Eight think blocks? of, I, whenever I think of WeHo, I always think of like, does anything like past Fairfax like right before it just turns into Beverly Hills. <laughs> you know? That's pretty much it. <laughs> you know, and that's about like, it's like, um, I, I think, you know, the, um, God, what's that name of that club? Um, Rage? No, no, no. It's a, it's a bar, like. Abbey? No, it's a, a small, like, kind of like venue. Um, I don't know. It's like, that's like on the border of The it. Troubadour? The Troubadour uh, is on the, uh, is on the border. That's on the, know. that's on the West the border. Troubadour. You know, right. Uh, yeah. Or is it on the East border? I think it's West. Because, yeah, no, it's west. Okay. Because, yeah, east is Beverly Hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the Troubadour is like the, I'm sorry, the, the west last. West is Beverly Hills and east is West Hollywood. Yeah, so, yeah. like, that, that's the last, like, you know, nightlife y spot before you enter, like, you know, the um, to Beverly Hills and you just kind of feel, suddenly feel really poor. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh shit, I don't, I don't think I belong here. You know, my fucking shitty Honda Civic. So, what's your daily routine because uh i'm guessing you don't do you go to an office or do you just work at home so first things first i wake up i have my coffee and i go to the gym so i have my gym time every gym. day awesome um beca- what gym i want people to go <laughs> no it, it's i just those, go, i just go to a gym a fitness, <laughs> LA, one of those big fitness la fitness <laughs> anyway 24, <laughs> 24 hour fitness see anch in um is it san gabriel valley or something or no 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 uh, you know, i live in san gabriel valley he oh. lives in like you live in like was Covina ish or No, 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 no. <laughs> I just live in LA, period. Oh. <laughs> so but I was gonna say first things first, go to the gym and because I, I truly believe strong body, strong mind. Mm-hmm. And once you get once I get home, I would go to my home studio. What time is this at? Like do you go to the gym at five oh, AM no, type of thing? I did. Okay. For a year straight. Some people do that. And I yeah. stopped because I felt like a psycho. Uh-huh. Like and I couldn't even I would not be able to do this. If I was on that same tired, routine, right? yeah. You just got to sleep at nine be, or ten. Yeah. 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 And um, so that, I, so, okay, so I'll be back by around 11 okay. from the gym. Gotcha, normal I'll time. continue, you know, do my work. I'll probably have my lunch at around like two or three, and um, it'll be in my home studio. Oh, so you're working at home. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And um, a lot of times I would have to drive down to do downtown LA because that's where the manufacturer is at. So I'll be there for a couple hours, and I'll jet back home to kick it with the dog. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Very designer life. How much time is on the phone or like communicating versus actually making something or oh, I drawing or what? I never talk on the phone. Okay. And I never watch television. I have Netflix. I don't ever watch any of that. Um, I think a lot of times I just sit there and draw and sketch and kind of think of silly ideas like hiccups and, you know. How much time is that? Is <laughs> that's that, a mo- most of my life, aw- I but think. But that's awesome. And, you know? and I think that I, I should be doing that a lot more. of people think yeah, that I. <laughs> I'm over working, but it's not. I think that to me is excitement. So that's, that's like the dream, right? That's like, I want to, some days I want to sit back and just read zines, comics and books and magazines or whatever it is, you know, just read stuff all day, mm-hmm. never make that time. And that's the same amount of time that I should be sketching ideas and drawing stuff too. Mm-hmm. And I don't do that at all either. I do none of those things. Instead, what am I doing? Watching YouTube videos of people gold panning and shit like yes, that. Yes, I like those right? too. Yeah, I watch that, and uh, those are rewarding. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. yeah. Actually, so, I gold panning. I get videos. lost in YouTube yeah. all the so, time. So, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, instead of like that, because to me, the drawing stuff is ultimately the most fun. Mm-hmm. But I kind of deprive myself of that, and I end up just doing stupid stuff you know instead. what i think i feel guilty stupid. i have that asian guilt in me where when my parents well, when i was growing up my parents would tell me that i have to be productive so the second i sit stationary and not doing anything or thinking of something to make or create 
I feel like a loser <laughs> and I don't want to feel like a loser. Mm. Oh, I feel like a loser all the time. No, yeah. but that's, I think that's the mentality that my parents kind of jammed into my head. Right. It shouldn't be this way because yeah. I feel like I would like to be able to escape into the video game world because oh. that's an escape. Wow. I would yeah. like to be able to watch movie and escape into that world too. But those are things that I can't get into. Right. So I think my only escape is into my own little world, which is pink fried chickens and rainbow colored ice creams mm -hmm. and dick tank tops. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what you could do is you could create a tank top with actually ha that has a hole in it, so that like you know the dick is Whoa! holding the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Come through. Yeah. What, yeah. What's that called? There's a name for it for the person who wears a t-shirt but no pants. Like there was a name for that like uh, ten years ago. Like a pervert. Really? <laughs> yeah, there was a, yeah, there was a name for that that someone you know like you would hashtag a certain something. Whoa. I, I, yeah, it was weird, right? A t-shirt but no pants. So t-shirt but no pants. There was a is word. that the Tom Cruise thing? Uh, no, but he had underwear. I'm talking about oh. no underwear. Yeah, there was a word for it. I forgot what it was. Yeah, yeah, Google it's, that. It's, and it's, not, it's not commando. It's uh, something else. But um, so you don't ever draw without a purpose. Like, is it always like for something? So like, all know, the so. products that you've seen so far, uh -huh. they're mostly designed two or three to four years ago. Oh wow! Okay. And they would be in my archive sketchbook. So I have probably six or four, six to seven sketchbooks that's completely filled with different ideas. Uh huh. And when the timing is right, I'll go through it, pick out which you know idea. I love this. Yes. To to execute, and that's that how it? I would execute it. What is it called? Shirt, shirt talking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, did you hear that? That was interesting, right? You go. He goes. He has six or seven sketchbooks, and then when the time's right, he goes through those books it's archival and, and finds mm -hmm. things that might yeah. work at that time. And I'm some sure things are ahead of its time, probably, right? Yes, and it's yeah. funny because love that. I feel like, like I said earlier, timing is everything. Yeah. And it, it, sometimes the, the humor that I have for a specific design is too sensitive for that time, but it won't be in six months. Mm. Six months? That's not even that much time. I'm, you know, I'm just giving an example. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. you know, it's, My, it's more like five years, <laughs> maybe? <laughs> I don't know. You know. Maybe the less offensive stuff yeah. could okay. come out sooner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize you, draw, you drew so much. I did. It, it's, it's all just mainly doodles and sketches. And I, he said ideas too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they will have like little notes on how to make it and all that stuff. And the, the interesting thing is at the end, when the final product comes out, it normally looks very similar to the initial sketch. Oh, really? Which I think is great. So did you, did you sketch out the, um, the fried chicken stuff? Too? So the fried chicken stuff was a little bit more different because Nicki Minaj reached out and said she wanted Barbie food. So she said, Barbie food. I was like, okay. So, so Barbie eats fried chicken? For me, I feel oh. Barbie eats fried chicken. And if it's a Nicki Minaj Barbie, She's she would all eat American, pink you know? fried chicken, you know? Right, right. So I think that, that was how that trail of thought came about and the idea came to fruition. So we made her a pink fried chicken wing, and we also made her a pink fried drumstick, and she chose the chicken wing instead, which I think is a smart choice because the drumstick didn't translate as well as the chicken wing did. You know, to a certain degree, it looks like the trucker girl. You know, <laughs> yes. you know, you know the trucker flop girl? Yes, yes. You know? So, like, you know, here's the That's chick. That's funny. You just need to have another arm back here. It's the folded leg, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> kind of thing. I just I, I was just looking at it. I'm like oh KFC, dude KFC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I all American fried chicken man. I just it's, think that's Colonel Sanders. Have you guys tried Jolly B? I have. I it's have. my favoriteest fried chicken in the world. Oh, I really? Had that in a long yeah, time. I could eat a bucket alone within ten minutes. Wow. Whoa. Intense. Whoa. <laughs> Obsessed. You know, I I had Jolly B when I was in the Philippines, and um, it, it just. You didn't like it? I just wasn't like impressed. Oh, you know, like, I mean, like it was okay. And then like they had the sweet spaghetti and I'm just oh. like, oh, I'm not really into the sweet spaghetti. <laughs> well, I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, you know, it's cause like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm when it comes to spaghetti, I'm just mm. like a. The authentic yeah, well, Italian the, sauce. The American Italian sauce because, <laughs> oh no. Oh, is that my oh, fault? That's mine probably. No, but like, um, 
Yeah, the um, like I'm, I'm so like well, you know, it's funny because like I've I've had. Have you ever had? Um, you've been to Japan before? No, I have not. What? I know, I know. I'm such an embarrassment. I work with so many Japanese companies. I've never been to Japan. Oh my god, you it's should just go to on to my go, bucket list. You know, like uh, that, that. That's not even just a that bucket weird. list. That's just like a fucking like you gotta fucking do that shit. And since my home is in Taiwan. Every time I visit, I always th- think, you know, maybe I'll pop by Japan for a quick second, and it never happens. How often oh, do you go back to Taiwan? You go. About once or twice a year. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have to see That's family there. God, you, sh- you got to go. It's I like know a, I should. It's like, what, a couple hours away? It's so close. It's like three and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, last time I was in Taiwan, we flew directly to Japan That's and, so you know, great. and just, you know, dicked around Japan for a while. So your family's there? In Taiwan? Wow. Yeah, yes, still, they're, they're not them. here. So you mm-hmm. came here by yourself. Yes, I am, wow. was here alone. I'm still alone. <laughs> wow. Wait, so like, how did you even get involved in like all this crazy reality TV kind of stuff in the first place? Oh, the casting process was so interesting. So um, I was freshly out of college, mm-hmm. and that was when I had a period of time where I didn't have anything to do, and I didn't know what to do. So I was out drinking at the bars. And I remember specifically, I was at this one bar, and this lady hit me up and go, oh my gosh, like, you would be perfect for this show. Wow. At that point, I was so belligerent that I, <laughs> I didn't really remember the specifics. The next day, in the morning, my MySpace had, like, eight messages from her. And I was like, okay, she's, she's for real. Let's yeah. think about this. Right. Wow. So I went into the casting. I think the rest of the cast members went to casting three times different rounds i went once and they casted me wow because they probably saw you know what this is a crazy one a little crazy <laughs> get him crazy <laughs> he's gonna make the show <laughs> you know <laughs> wild yeah. do you feel like you're much more i mean like obviously it's been a while mm-hmm. since then you know it's been like, 10 years yeah so like do you feel like you've like kind of like i don't know just not as crazy calm down a little bit yeah I think the crazy now is more internal where I'm able to express myself through the designs and the products I've been creating. Mm-hmm. Um, just in January, I launched a spanking board with my name on it, you know, <laughs> and just many different things. And people like bought that. that? Yeah. Why not? What is it? A paddle? Or it's a, a paddle. Oh, okay. It says Anch on it and, and it's it black and red. Mm-hmm. And I Wait, think, d- d- does that like, it's not an let art. Let me show you. It's just a, I was wondering if you could like put roller ink on it and slap people's butt with your oh, name, like a, you like, know a what? like a stamp. You probably could. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> That's yeah. a great idea. I just thought of it. See how creative I am. Yeah. So it's like that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. it. How big is that though? That's a Whoa. steak. Is that steak giant or is that a? Oh, it's a big piece of steak. So the, I think the paddle's around twelve inches. Wow. Uh huh. Wow. So it's like a, it's like a big, it's like a real. Is that paddle. made out of plastic? Uh, no, it's pl- uh, pleather. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it whips. So it's like my vegan goodness. friendly too. Yeah, it's definitely vegan it's friendly. Vegan. <laughs> oh but like I said, like I feel like the crazy now is more internal and um, I'm able to express myself through the art, which is great. Instead of wearing wild outfits, which sometimes I still do enjoy, but most of the time I think low key is what mm-hmm. I would go for. Right, right. Well, I mean like this, that entire like in- intense, insane look is kind of, I don't know. I mean, like, maybe it's on the way back up again since camp With is camp, kind of, right. you know, um, back in camp. 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 But, you know, I also feel like I want to be taken seriously. Yeah. So you have to present yourself in a way where people can take you seriously. Right. And I think that's that was my growing process. Mm-hmm. By making paddles? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Eric, you know what's up. <laughs> no, but I think you to look the part. Right. And did I do it on purpose to, to morph myself in a way where it's, which I'm more in a box? No, I didn't. I think it's just when you grow, you age, and you learn, and you experience, and you evolve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times I feel like um, even when you look at celebrities, you're like, oh, my gosh, you know, like she's not the same Katy Perry we, we liked 10 years ago. Oh. Well, hello, who's going to stay the same for the full 10 years without growing? And if that person has no growth, aren't they dead? Or just pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You need to have growth. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, like, you know, it, it's good to, like, 
I don't know. I think most people when they were younger have like eccentric kind of moments, you know, Absolutely. like, you know, in their yeah. mission of self-discovery. Mm-hmm. But some, know. some get it later though. It's weird. Like some people smoke pot for the first time at like 40, right? Mm. I mean, you know, not, or maybe even 35 when was or something. La- when was the first time you smoked pot, Eric? 15. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, like 15, it's a long time ago, but uh, some people start really late. I notice, you know, mm-hmm. not, it's probably because it's only legal now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know? yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, now yeah. that it's been legalized, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are kind Venturing of like, oh, into that. maybe yeah. it's not that bad. You know? It's, I, yeah. it's interesting how once something is legalized, it changes the way they think and feel about that specific product. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I know people that used to be so against marijuana and now since it's legal they are one of the higher intake people that right. i know of but right. the weirdest thing is you don't hear oh he's stoned like you don't hear that anymore like i don't hear anyone say that about true. anybody true i mean they might be stoned but everyone's just like well he's just high but whatever no big deal before it was like oh he's totally stoned man whatever watch out <laughs> you know what i mean it was more like a right. call out uh-huh. now it's just like oh he's stoned whatever <laughs> <laughs> you know, no big deal, you know? Yeah. But it seems like it's just the word stone does isn't even used almost. It's like, you know, it just doesn't doesn't even matter because it's legal. It's you know, it's of, funny. I, I read this article. It says but being something drunk about something. California sober. Mm-hmm. Do mm-hmm. you know what that means? Mm. It means you're able to get stoned, but you don't drink alcohol and do other stuff. So California sober is just means you can get Smoke high as pot. fuck. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, was say, I was gonna say drinking's different. That's what I was gonna get to. <laughs> like when you see someone just totally drunk walking around, then you're you're gonna go, fuck, he's fucked up and drunk. Yeah. But you know, like when they're walking around, you're not like, oh, he's so high, look at him walk by. Yeah, but you then just don't like, care, you know. Pe- when people smoke pot, they also don't get rowdy and no. obnoxious. They're they get just all, they get all paranoid. <laughs> 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 they're just looking around going, Oh shit, everyone knows I'm stoned. So I right? think that that's, that's kind of what happens. That's probably why, you know, stoners don't have such bad rap anymore. Yeah. How do you feel about the legalization of psilocybin? What's not? Uh, the p- mushrooms. Oh, you know what? I had that once, but I, I fine with me, I guess. I don't really know. Yeah. I, I mean, haven't had enough time, so I don't really know. I think it's uh, been legalized in, where is it? Like, Some states, right? Portland, yeah. or is it Colorado, somewhere in Colorado? Why does it have such a scientific name when it's just mushrooms? Oh, well, I mean, because like, psilocybin sounds... Is, more is that a chemical? Um, it's not the name of the mushroom, right? It might be the genus. I okay. don't know. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but like, yeah, like it's been legalized in like certain either cities or in um, certain states. I think it's very interesting how these things are getting legalized. And um, I don't know, just because I feel like back in the day it was, it had such a bad rap. Mm-hmm. I know back when I was in art school, people always looked at any kind of drugs as bad although they do it because it's art school right <laughs> i mean i remember wait, waking up going to school at 9 a.m and art on my right side said hey orange can you scratch my back i'm like no why would i scratch <laughs> your back he's like i'm rolling on e it's oh. 9 a.m <laughs> art well guess what art did <sighs> turned to his right to kelly kelly scratched his back Kelly's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you're a whore. <laughs> oh, Kelly. You're a hoe. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. And Kelly, was Kelly a male or female? Could be. Could be both. Yeah. Gender or fluid. Either. I'm sure. <laughs> fluid. There you go. So someone asked a question online. Um, there's actually two for you, Anch, but from the same person. So it's almost the same question. What can we expect in the future from Anch? And the next part of the question was, would we see any old necklaces in the future, but with an updated twist? Oh, Which well, that always the- happens because I feel like classic designs are classic designs and you will always bring it back at some point. So I'm not trying to give too much away, but yes, like I feel like that's what we do, you know? Like you have some classic things that you, elements you always use and I, I do too. Sure. Um, what is there to come? I think there's gonna be a lot more fashion related products and um, art-related products, because those are the two worlds I would like to venture into. And um, next year is my Sweet 16, so expect something fun in July. Wow, awesome. I never even so thought about like, like these numbers yeah. <laughs> yeah, in that yeah. way. Yeah. Like, what 17, would, would, is there a number for that, like a name? 17, like, wouldn't that just be like a Taylor 17. Swift song or something? <laughs> <laughs> 
17 but magazine. yeah, Sweet 16 is next year, and we're planning something f- exciting, like a retrospective. Because Wait, isn't there like a, a like a weird like being 50, a turning of age thing when you turn 15? Yes, that's isn't that Kinsanera? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're it's having Kinsanera. your Kinsanera right now. Yes, I am. See, there's a there's <laughs> a there's a, there's a special there's thing a for There's something every, every day. Yeah. yeah. Every number. So this yeah. year is my Kinsanera. Next year is my Sweet 16. And then it's Taylor Swift's song. 17. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I get finally legal when I'm 18. You know. <laughs> legal 18. There you go. Yeah. 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 You know, you could yeah. you have a that, that's an opportunity to fucking like you know do different things. All kinds of crazy right. shit. Like the you growth. do like some weird legal thing. You know. That'd be amazing. Oh, you could do a voting thing. Whoa. Oh. You, could do a mil- you could do a military thing. Yeah. <laughs> or nudes. Nudes? Can you do well, nudes at 18? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah, when yeah. you can pose for oh, Playboy. Yeah. And you're of age. Yeah. So you can. You can party, with, but sleep you can't with drink. Your pastors <laughs> and sleep with your pastors. Go ahead. <laughs> that's yeah. what Eric <laughs> wants to do. Huh? <laughs> Eric, why would you do such a thing? That's so weird. <laughs> that's what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> Who do? Who do? Who do? <laughs> <laughs> those, uh, those do, the, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Sorry. They do, exactly. Oh my God, I, I unplugged it a little bit. Can you oh. push it in? It's all, it's all in. Can you, are you able to hear? Maybe turn yeah. it a little bit. Maybe? Twist did it I, around? Did I do I don't something? Know. It's fine. I could hear myself. Okay. Right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. So, like, you're, 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 like, art, like, in terms of art, like, are you kind of, are you trying, are you looking at more of a kind of a classic sense of art or, like, installation, sculpture, stuff like that? Uh, definitely m- more wearable pieces. Do you, pho- do you do photography? I do not. Yeah. I'm what not. about music? You know, I feel I, like you I've do always music. wanted to venture into music because secretly inside I'm like a pop star you know <laughs> I, I can see that I, that's, what I, that's is, why so I, I ask I, I, I played classical violin for 13 years growing up yeah you're, even, uh, you're, you're you're Chinese yeah and <laughs> I even performed for the Prime Minister of Malaysia whoa wow. yeah it's pretty intense um, because of that I have a really good sense of music and, and, and melody and all that and tempo and I feel like maybe at some point I would love to create some kind of collaboration with a musician. Cause Will you play violin? No. No, why not? Because, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like... Can you it, find a way to make that cool, though? Oh, gosh. I mean, Vanessa May be. tried, and be. she failed. You know, fucking the violin, I mean, like, it's a beautiful instrument, it, but it belongs in the realm of the classics. But Dr. Octagon <laughs> yeah. uses the violin. You know? What? Dr. Octagon, yeah. Really? No, he yeah. doesn't. Oh, yeah. Doc, not cute, cool Keith, but Dan Automator, he uses the violin. Because oh. he was a violinist himself. Yeah, I was a vi- I played violin. For you about did too. Fi- yeah, fifteen years. Oh my god! No. You, you guys should that's play crazy. violin yeah. together. Oh my god, that'd be really funny. <laughs> actually, <laughs> we would kill it. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, that'd be amazing. I, I can't even. I can't believe you played for fifteen. I didn't know this. Yeah, I didn't know this years. either. That's and funny. I didn't know you. That's crazy. And then I played piano for about eight years. Oh fuck, wow. fuck that! You guys should just play violin. I, and I, I played see trombone. We'll have a for duet. Three years. So wow! That's, wow! Yeah, I did a lot of um, yeah. I did like all that high this school. This was orchestra all in Fresno. In Fresno. Oh my god! Yep. And as soon as I fucking like left Fresno, I left the violin behind. <laughs> oh, you know? So did you have one of those Stradivarius things? Oh fuck no! Like, Who? They're too expensive, I guess. Yeah. Don't they make new ones? Like Fender makes them in China yeah, but, now. But like they, they, make... they they love. So I guess for violins, it's all about how old it is. Because right. apparently, oh. the older it is, it, it sounds better because of the, oh, wood, the wood, the way the way the wood ages. Mm. So I remember, like, would always buy violins that's around 15 years old, and I would I would ask, why can't we buy new stuff? Why do we have to buy these old pieces of wood? <laughs> But Actually, it's because of that. I had an old, I had a, a Chinese violin, you know, and it wasn't an old one. It was one of a new, it was a new one because I think it was just more affordable at the time. Nice. But like, and I still have it actually. It's somewhere in my mom's garage. You should incorporate that into one of your art pieces. No, because <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, you know. Wow. This is great news. I, I hated like, you know, I have a lot of bitter memories about like, you know, mm. yeah, playing you in practice. the practice. Yeah. Oh, oh. hey, the Charles way. practices for an hour. You know, <laughs> I'm like fuck him. You know, I'd so wanna, like I, I, you know, like my mom would want me to practice for an hour, and I'm like, I, like thinking about it now, like, you know, like if I had, you know, a brat who fucking like, you know, like was not that great with a violin, why would I encourage him to fucking practice it? Because it's just torturing myself. It's, it's, it's forced violence. I or think no, it's forced experience, discipline, though. Forced violence and discipline. Uh, 
uh, You're fucking basically forcing like, them to learn discipline. I would fucking like have them learn an instrument where they had to put headphones on and fucking just listen to it themselves because I wouldn't <laughs> want to fucking listen to their shit. <laughs> you know, it's know. brutal. I remember uh-huh. those sounds. So both yeah. of you do music and you do music. What do you... Awesome. Music you didn't fun. learn music. You didn't t- t- do an instrument. Very little. I did a little like piano for like two months and failed. Nice. So everything was no, nothing worked. But and, how can you noth- fail on a piano? It's nothing, pushing buttons. Nothing went for more. Like I didn't do any instrument for a year. Let's put it that way. Uh, nothing went a year. So no, absolutely failed. But uh, I want to hear music. You should make. Music. I would love yeah? to do that. So yeah, you know, I I, I think I I mean I could told I mean like are you gonna rap? Will you rap in it? You know, it's funny because I actually have I should. say I, I knew talk this. About I, know, this. I know. I know this. <laughs> Keep going. There is a song that I did, and it's still on iTunes, that I rapped in, and I it's so it. terrible. I knew <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know about terrible, but I knew it's it. It's terrible, <laughs> but I, I attempted it. You know, I'm not Nicki Minaj, obviously. It's, it's just under your name. Yeah. Everybody, look it up. On no, your please don't. No, <laughs> terrible. Um, I would not attempt that ever again in my life. I think that if I was to do any kind of music, it won't be anything vocal, but it'll be more of an uh, ambient music, I guess. When did you do that, though? Was that like... Right after? That was right after the, the Paris Hilton I show. I had to. Yeah. yeah. I was like, and the reason <laughs> why go was because so cool. for you to get any attention at that time, you have to have new projects. Yeah. So when you have a new song coming out, walk to Katsuya and have the paparazzi take pictures and talk <laughs> about it. You know? God damn it. <laughs> so it's stuff like that. And so I think that at that point, I didn't, I didn't know that I was... You know, designer was my calling, artist was my calling. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? We need a song right now. Wow. <laughs> so it happened. Cool. And someone wrote it for you and you yeah. just kind of rapped? Yeah, yeah. So wait, how did you get paparazzi to show up? Did you, do you kind of tip them off? Like, I'm going to cut to you in like 20 minutes no, and be right there. So this is how, an interesting I mean, culture. They, they can't just watch you from your apartment, right? Are they? No, this is a very interesting culture that I don't think a lot of people know. Is that if you want to stay low key and unseen in Hollywood, it's completely possible it's these celebrities go to these locations and these dine, like restaurants that already have paparazzis outside waiting. So when you see, I guess, Britney Spears coming out drunk, it was a very conscious idea and thought behind. Yeah, it wasn't an that. accident. It wasn't an accident. She, she, she did not want to be low key. Oh, she but, definitely but, wanted did, to be seen. But did she want to be sloppy drunk? Or well, that maybe part not, right? I can't speak for her. Obviously, Probably not. Right? But you yeah. know that. When they show up at those restaurants, they will have photos taken not, you know, of them, and yeah. the next day it will be all over the news. So, like that one picture of her, like you know, with without panties on and all that shit with Paris. It was like I think that was like what, like that was a while ago. I remember like it was all over. Iconic. Yeah, like fucking. That was like. I just don't think that, you know, but I think specifically with Britney's situation because she's so famous right that maybe she doesn't realize it anymore it's Mm. subconscious that somebody else is taking photos of her at all times and she just does what she wants Uh. but but i know for normal up-and-comers when they go to those restaurants they know they're gonna have footage the next day so like katsuya is Mm -hmm. is one of them what back in the day uh, what about now where do you go Oh my gosh, I haven't done any of those recently. Oh, okay. Been a good kid. <laughs> you know, Designing. I, I remember uh, well, I was on Melrose one time, and you know, there was that one British pub, you know, on out there, something, the idiot, something idiot, you know, I forgot what it was called, but like I was, uh, I was just hanging out, you know, away from all that, and then like I guess some celebrity took off, and suddenly like you see paparazzi jump on motorcycles and chase after the fucking car, and I'm oh, like, whoa, insane. that's. Whoa. Because those those photos are worth so much money. Now, do, even now? Well, so <sighs> when they get those photos, they're able to sell them to different publications. Right. So it's like how Getty Images, when they do those photos... Fo- um, no, they're bidding. Bidding? Are they kind of bidding? Yeah, and you know how Getty Images has those step and repeat photos and they have their logo on top of it? Mm-hmm. If you want to publish those photos, you have to remove, you know, buy those photos from them. So that's how they get paid. Did you ever do red carpet stuff? Yes. Did you ever work on your pose? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it's I'm, one of those like shower moments, you know. <laughs> I, my friend convinced me to do one for this event, and I was just like, you know, and I just like, I just showed up. You know? Did you love it? Oh, I hated it. <laughs> I fucking hated it. You know, but I mean, like, you know, it was, it was fun because, like, you know, like, but I was hanging out with um my friend Linda, uh, Vampy bit me and. 
you know, another cosplay dude. It was like an anime fucking thing. Nice. And fucking like, you know, they had like, you know, it was uh, it was an interesting cattle fucking run. Like, you know, the people all lined up and they had the guy with the, the, the you know, with the fucking dry erase board, you know, yeah. to fucking like, you know, say who this is right. and what they do. Those pictures, are they still around? Have you seen it? Uh, I've saw, I saw it. Some, if you're, if you're, if they can like Getty, they'll be there forever. Yeah. Like the old pictures of you are yep. probably still there. Yep. Cause I did it once and it's still, I still see them. It'll be, yeah. It's like, they're still out there and I'm like, Oh, it's, it's like on your record. Yeah. It's, it's like weird. a DUI. I didn't, <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it was one of those things where the people came and take pictures and I didn't know. I was like, what the fuck? And there's a whole, like a bunch. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was, it was with Henry Rollins mm-hmm. and Henry Rollins was like, here's how you do it. And I, I was like, how nice. do you do this? And he just was like, look to the left. We'll look at those guys, then look to the middle and look to the right. Like he told me when he was like, okay, let's look to the middle now, Eric. You know, I it like was, that. So yeah. coordinated. It was like that. Nice. And he said, look to the right. And he goes, okay, see, that's it. That's all you do. Eric, you know, that's a yeah. good friend, by yeah. the way. Well, it's yeah. Henry Rollins, but yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's Henry fucking Rollins. Yeah, yeah. I was taking pictures with Henry Rollins. And I love like, that. People, I don't know. That's awesome. Long ago. Yeah. Fucking Henry Rollins, man. Yeah. That guy's a fucking legend. Yeah. You know, yeah. and he's like, but he was whispering that. He was like, okay. Let's look to the middle now, Eric. You got this. <laughs> you know, I was like, all I right. It. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. He, I made fucking, it, he made it easy. I, I hated it. Yeah. I, I think, I, and, I, and like, and I looked at the photos and I'm like, damn, I guess I should have, you know, thought it out. <laughs> 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 well, you know, shower time now. Pose, in front, pose naked in front of a mirror. You'll get it. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's hilarious. You know, Eric, you, you, you were a, you brought up a, uh, interesting question that you wanted to ask on while we were walking. I already you know, forgot what it was though. It was, uh, the suing, uh, the court. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was reading on, <laughs> I was reading on, uh, is it Wikipedia? There was that, remember that, that person, that Britney Spears, oh like whining guy, yeah. which I remember that so well. I mean, oh, yeah. he had black <laughs> makeup that was running mm-hmm. and uh, he had really stringy long fingers, right? And he did the video, eh, stop bugging with Britney Spears. Anyways, so um, yeah, I read about some lawsuit and it was crazy because that guy probably has no money, but then you sued him for $1 million, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is just Wikipedia, what I'm reading. Yeah. And then it says you, you settled, know, you know, and then you settled out of court. <laughs> Explain you know, that. That's crazy. I think it's, I think it's so interesting how press is able to twist your stories and make it something that's buzzworthy. Um, Those aren't facts? No. Uh, no. <laughs> the, the, the law, no, the lawsuit is real. Okay. One million dollars. All, all of those are facts. Those are, you know, those are all real, but I think it's just the way that they worded it made it sound a lot bigger than it is. So this was for a Britney Spears art show or something like that, right? It was right before that, and it's... So you tricked this guy into coming to L.A. <laughs> for, for one plane ticket to do <laughs> all this work for you, right? He had to wear your stuff, and he had to say your name, like, you were like, say my name, and he had to say your name, and all this stuff. Like, wait, where'd and, you and, read this and thing? Then, and then, well, I read an article, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah... <laughs> and then what happened? He had to go to this Britney Spears art show too, and then and then what else? And there was something else. Wasn't there one more thing? And then, he, but that was about it, I think. But all that just for a plane ticket. You, you know, that's, that, that's what I read. That, that definitely was not the full story. Okay. It would have been first class plane ticket. That's definitely not the full story. But I also don't really want to get into it because it's so old. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. I do have to say though, no, 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 no. Let, I, let me just bring oh. this up, okay? Uh-huh. I think when you're younger, you do stuff that is not well thought out and <laughs> to say the least <laughs> not yeah, well thought out yes and, that's 100 percent true and i think with that scenario could i have executed and and move forward with grace and with respect on both ends yes i could have done better um but i think that's all there is to it you know there's no hard feelings towards him in any way well, what does that person do now I am not quite sure because I don't keep up with oh, okay. them. It kind of pops up once in a while. Still? Like, I, I think so. Like, I'm, oh. I'll, I'll be like, you know, when I'm at the gym, you know, I'll see like, you know, the TMZ fucking shit on like one screen and suddenly I'll pop up that like footage from that old video. And I'm like, <laughs> that was like 10 years ago, right? I don't know. Yeah, 15. Yeah. So, a long did, time. so did you get a million dollars? That's, so that's, that's the only valid I had part to of like, that. I had a, you know, we settled. So we can't really talk about any of that. But let me just say this, okay? I wish him the best, and I hope he's doing great. I'm sure he's doing great. And He's not listening. And yeah, I, he's not listening. He's not watching. <laughs> but I just want to say that, you know, that was the past, and I'm glad that we are 
over that. <laughs> did you get a lot of money? <laughs> I like money. <laughs> did you get a Can't lot? deny money. <laughs> did you get a lot? <laughs> okay. was he, was, is he considered an influencer? I think one of the OGs for sure. Right. Back but in the day. There was nothing else but that video, right? That right. that person did. Right, right, right. Or was there anything else? I think he was a YouTuber. He was one of the oh, original YouTubers. That's right. So yeah. there's a lot he of content. A mm, there's yeah, a lot yeah, of content. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, okay. it's a tough life being a YouTuber, I think, just because okay. I have so many YouTuber friends and I just see the way that they're able, they want to create new content every day and they want the content to be the freshest, the most unique, the most one of a kind. Sure. And it's got to be often. Because right. their videos are being monetized. Yeah. So like they're constantly yeah. creating content. They want to try and get the hundreds, if not millions of viewers, views on it. You know, and, and I feel bad because... You asked for a million dollars? No. Oh. No, as in I feel bad because... Well, that's a lot of not money. Stop. Man. <laughs> no, I feel bad for, the, for them sometimes because I see how much stress they are under because their video is what's going to actually make them money and they're, so they, they're, they have their life dependent on their next video. Do you pity watch videos? No. Pity Why, would watch? I do wow. Why would I do such a thing? Do you? Do you do a pity watch? Wow. No, no. I mean, like... Um, well, I think that's what we got right now. <laughs> <laughs> pity us, please. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, do you, do you, like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I generally avoid clickbaity kind of videos. I don't. You know, I just wonder what's there, <laughs> and I'm usually I get disappointed, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, because I, I, like the, I, like the title I, is better than the video. Because I'm so easily disappointed, you yeah. know. I don't want to be disappointed, <laughs> you know. But like, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't ever watch like trending stuff. I did watch that pink black video when it was like you know reached like the the record of like <laughs> right. numbers of views in right. one Amazing. day, Amazing. and it was a great video. And, like, I was very impressed. Did you just watch Pink Black when they were at Coachella? No, I didn't. I didn't even know who they were back then. You know, fucking. I mean, it, was just this, it was just a couple months ago. I know, but I didn't know. But, I mean, I knew of them right after. Mm. So, because all the press was. Oh, that was out. a lot of news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was yeah. major. Yeah. I mean, I saw them, like, from the side, really yeah. far they away. They were at the Techno Tent. Right. <laughs> you know, and Apex Stone was playing. That's the reason. There was, there was, like, three reasons why I'd want to go to fucking Coachella this past year uh, Tame Impala. Oh, Apex Twin great. and you know Pink Black Pink or something like that. Just because I don't even really like that you know K-pop, but I, I gotta say I was impressed by their video. Nice. Like they you know they move and nothing moves around. Wow. You know like oh they're they're constructed. You know the way yeah. they're being built is different. <laughs> you know the way they create celebrities are so different there than in America. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It is like a serious like medical it's like a boot industry. Camp. You know, like they work them out. They have, like, have you seen those videos of like crazy K-pop diets? No, no. Uh, they're, they're, they're out there. What and is it? What is it? Just like grains of food and <laughs> some science, like liquids. bags of air. Yeah, <laughs> basically, it's in, it's in, it's intense. And two sheets of paper. Like they, it's, like, they, <laughs> it's like Gattaca or something. Like one of those. Uh, you know, I don't know, but yeah. like you know, I mean, like you hear it's a horrible. lot about like Korean schools and like how like. At the all-girls schools, they'll have, like, scales at the fucking stairwells. Don't they have that for, like, uh, uh, what do you call flight attendants? They do that, too, I suppose. Well, that's the reason why fucking Asian airlines are the best airlines. Oh, okay. (laughs) Asia is not about that body positivity situation. No, they're definitely not. Well, I mean, they're kind of moving in there. Like, I saw, like... A little bit. I watch some Asian boss videos once in a while, and they'll have, like, you know, the plus-size models, you know, and... But I think in general, like, generally, they're still very much not accepting of people that are bigger and it's so oh, for strange. Sure, no. uh, yeah. It's so strange. Do you ever watch Asian Boss? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Really? Asian Boss? You're fucking what lying to me, man. What is Asian Boss? It's describe this Asian Boss. It's thing. like just like a a, 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 a show from It's a show? It's a show on YouTube that like you know where they Skits? got No, it's just like kind of documentary style where they'll like talk about weird phenomena in Asia, like, you know, the fucking, you know, the Korean American guy who was like kicked out of America because of, you know, uh, some, you know, you know, he was deported back to Korea and he started up a taco shack in fucking Korea and it's like authentic tacos and oh. you can't speak Korean. And, I might have seen it. I don't remember. You know, man. And, or Asian like, you boss. know, like, you know, the, um, the fucking Japanese, you know, J-pop you know, band of plus size women, you know, or something like that. I just know the kimchi slap. 
<laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Have you guys not seen the kimchi slap? No. This old, this like I guess it's like a K-pop. I mean, not K-pop, K-drama. Oh, I've seen some of these videos. And I'm this, looking at it. yes, <laughs> I have. I'm just looking at the list of his videos. <laughs> I've seen some of these. So okay. Yeah, I mean, like uh, as the is, as, is, it, is it just one person? Is the Asian? No, boss? I think it's a group. It's a whole bunch of people. It's a whole bunch of people. Okay, good. Okay, you know, then I've seen it. Yeah, yeah but you're telling me different. about the Kim Chi. Oh no, it's just this old lady arguing with this younger guy, probably her son. She was so mad. She pulled out this whole thing of kimchi and slapped him with it. Wow. Wow. It was iconic to did say the sla- least. Did it slap hard? Like, oh yeah. Was it was vegetable. all over the place. Like wow. kimchi was juice it like was a, all over. Was it for a drama or was it for a uh, actual, was, was it, it was actual for a drama? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. And it's just, it made me laugh because that is such a smart move like it's such a smart storyline slap somebody with a bunch of kimchi Dude, no, you like, ha- everyone has to watch like that. you will never forget that kimchi yeah. you should do a kimchi that'd be sick. Like. That'd be so sick. <laughs> does it have to smell like kimchi that'd be kind no, of no okay, i i, I okay. am okay. all right, right, right i mean i love kimchi like at, at korean barbecue places but like i remember like the first time my like when i was a kid my mom or my dad <laughs> bought home a jar of kimchi and like they opened the jar and i was just like oh my god <laughs> it's surprising awesome. how it's, it's surprising how strong it, that smell from a jar can be oh my sure. god it's, it's brutal it's weird though because i don't i don't think that would happen at a restaurant like i don't smell it there no i, don't I guess smell. it's blended in or something but at home well it's because you're just, you're smelling charred meat yeah, or fucking so. bubbling tofu you I guess know so, but is, you're smelling yeah. spicy I you know, know. Yeah. So. it's true. <laughs> I, I just can't. I didn't realize how gnarly. I thought that was like a myth. You know, like I was like, oh, that's that's like white people. They're opening a jar of kimchi and tripping out because they're like, you know, they have no idea. And then I bought one and then I opened it. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and this is kind of recent because I've had <laughs> jars of kimchi that didn't smell, and I bought one that's just gnarly smelling. Oh yeah. There's and some like, gnarly. That's what I'm saying. Smell. Some don't smell so bad and some are really bad. I think it's the ones that like have that real oyster and shrimp like you know, uh, tucked into that, you know. Because I just that was, yeah. yeah. Anyway. So anyways. Yeah. Not all jars of kimchi are alike. alike. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just enjoy my kimchi like, you know, at a restaurant. You know, yeah, like I, I had a friend of mine who was like suggesting like, oh, you know, like I was asking her like, oh, you know, like, she, you know, we were grocery shopping and, you know, like at a Japanese market and I was buying, I was going to buy some miso and, you know, just because, you know, it's a very versatile yeah, condiment thing absolutely. that you use to mix with anything. And uh, she was like saying like, oh, you know, I'll fucking like, you know, put kimchi and, you know, blah, 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 this and that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to buy kimchi. Yeah. <laughs> It's, 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 it's like unless they do like tiny jars about this big like mm. I just can't eat that I can't eat this True. much fucking kimchi it's tough True. you know like and then like you know like um, like imagine like you know trying to get to the bottom half of it you know and this, you're struggling with the chopsticks and the <laughs> smells is filling up your entire Whoa, fucking <laughs> wow that sounds like a horror movie <laughs> man it sounds awful I was like stop man this is hurting me yeah so it wait, is. Anch, can you speak Chinese right now? I'd like to, I've never seen, I didn't, I don't believe you can do it. I can. Uh, Tachaha, what it means is Anch. Yep. Did you speak Chinese just now? Mm-hmm. I thought that was English. No, no. <laughs> what, <the fuck? laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> oh, that's real. <laughs> okay. I just can't, I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought you were like um, Asian American without any ability in any other language. No, 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 no. Yeah, I had no idea. I actually learned French for 10 years too. So but I could, gave it all back. I can't oh. speak French anymore. Okay. There's no way. What did, you, fun, what did you say in Chinese, by the way? I have no idea. I said, my name is Anj, and I also Dabian. said... No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's my only word I know. Yes, Eric, that's, that's the, the best word ever. That's the only one I know. But there's also Xiaobian. <laughs> which is, right. you know. that, means, that means small? That's piss. Oh. Oh, piss. small poo, <laughs> big poo. <laughs> I, I was you like know. small. Poo. I thought Dabian means big poo. No, it's just poo. Oh, okay. Because yeah. yeah. I thought the da part was big. Yeah. It is. Yeah, though. well, because yeah. two is bigger than one. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. I never thought of it that way. I, I just That's pulled funny. that one out. Oh, you know, okay. but like, yeah. Um, where are we at? Well, we're we're past the time. All right. But any last questions for Anch? Since we still have Anch. I, I'm I'm just going to be asking about like you know everything that happened with the the court case you know after the fucking oh, recording no. goes, down, goes down because I don't want to put you know I I, I can respect a non-disclosure. Oh, <laughs> oh, there was an NDA. 
Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like serious then. <laughs> yes, it was. Wow. It, was, it wasn't a joke. Wow. Well, who was hurt out of all this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was such a, you said it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I didn't even know about this. But, like, you know, <laughs> until you thing. just dug it up. <laughs> well, it was on there and I was just like, I got to read about it. And, you know, and then I was reading that somebody posted that, uh, he couldn't go to that art thing because it was a death threat. So he couldn't even go to the art show. Oh yeah. So, oh, that's so, intense. so it was all someone else's fault. I don't know. You know, there's, it's death all hearsay, threats. you know, it's all hearsay. You can't and go to an art show, Luke, because there's a death threat. <laughs> yeah, which is gnarly. It's like, what? Speaking of death. <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry, sorry to bring this all up. No, it's all good. It's it was just good. It was fun reading, though. It was of course. Like, I didn't even, I, 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 I never even thought to I mean, there's all the this bunkie. positive, like, art stuff, and then there's this weird story about this thing, and I was like, oh, <laughs> And then, then I remembered the video, and I'm like, oh, my God, I remember that video. Yeah, that must have like 10 million views or something. It's a good video. Yeah. I why didn't I see this video? You've never Leave seen Leave Britney it? alone video? No, I've seen the Leave Britney yeah. alone video. I thought there was a like, oh, okay. No, that's yeah, the one yeah, I'm talking yeah, about, yeah, but yeah. it's just so like weirdly I There's got to be more than fucking 10 million now. I yeah, no for, sure. You know, for sure. Like, for sure. He's probably still fucking cashing gang in fucking YouTube checks from that shit. Or, I don't know. It seems like YouTube takes away a lot of people's accounts or something. Yeah, demonetize that oh, shit. Yeah, right? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Do you know I don't know if you don't have a YouTube channel, right? I don't do YouTube. No. Because I feel like if I was to exploit myself, I need to get paid for it. But can't you monetize it? And well, it got paid in chunks, like, before I create the content. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> you mean pay to play. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. That's the way to go. Yeah. And Just I, talk to the accountant when we're but done here. You know, I also feel like YouTubers <laughs> in specific, um, they, they talk so much. They create so much content. A lot of times, they don't remember what they said. And those words sometimes come back years later to bite them in the ass. And I don't ever want that to happen unless I'm getting paid for it. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah. know? See, you know? This is the Asian businessman right here. Uh, yeah, I like uh, that. Uh, yeah. I'm the fucking idiot who just fucking mouths <laughs> off on this fucking podcast. I'm like, there's going to be, there's already like tons of material that's going to fucking kill oh, me no. fucking like five years. But you know line. what? I, your branding is different <laughs> though. You know, I feel like this works for you. It's, it's very much you. You're very honest and, and, and raw and genuine. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that it works for you. I hope for so. For me, obviously, I'm a fake ass bitch. So, you know. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, Anch, thank you Anch, so much for being for on the show. Me. You were you were as fun as I thought you would be. Oh my god, yeah. You know, we'll you. we'll have to have you back yeah, on have again. To come back. Of course. Yes. I would love to. And yeah. okay, you know what? Let me just plug my stuff. Okay? Please do. Yes. Yeah. So if you guys are in Los Angeles, come to Santa Monica Pier on Saturday, June first, to try out our pink fried chicken bolo sandwich. Do you know what time that's gonna be at? I think it'll be from eleven to four. And how much is the sandwich? Um, the whole set, I think, is $20. And it comes with a pink hibiscus lemonade, pink french fries, well, french fries with pink glitter on it, and we have pink fried chicken um, sandwich. Wow. So that'll be $20. And also check out my website, www.onch.us, for all the new merch and the hiccups and the art penises. All that good and stuff. And that, that, that sweatshirt, or no, 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 yeah, sorry, the tank, the tank top. top. That's yeah. the art penis thing. Yeah. <laughs> art, that's called an art penis? Art dick. Art, art dick. <laughs> and also follow us all on social media, such as Instagram, at Anch, and it's at Luke At Luke Chu. Chu. Giant Robot. At Giant yeah. Robot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also feel free to Venmo us, you know, because we worked really hard today. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Anch. Thank you, Anch. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.